Is this thing on? If so, welcome to my channel. My name is MG the Future, and I'm not AI yet. But today's video will be a cook up of the sort, or more so, an exploration of the potential that AI currently provides us in terms of being our substitute sample crate. I've seen a few concepts come out lately with the new technology, UDO, no affiliation. That is U-D-I-O, AI. And I think the potential for it to make the type of samples you want slash need, especially for the golden era, is right there in front of you. All you gotta do is sign in for free. So there's no sale on this video. But let's see if we can cook and do something dangerous. So stay tuned. In the meantime, I'm going to try to play something different. In the beginning, let's see. Sim the Future, stay tuned. Make sure you drop a like, comment, subscribe. I just want to start the vibes right with some old classic house music, even if I have to remove it from the stream on the replay. Shout to Replay Gang and all those who comment and subscribed. Sim the Future.
East Orange, Irvington, the red hot dog links, pause with a goddamn white government cheese because they stopped giving yellow in the 90s. I don't know if he was outside when they tried to give us the white American cheese, but they did. Beautiful people, man. Hard drive deep down inside deep. Same producers. That's why they were reusing that sample. Um, and that's the SP-1200, by the way, if you didn't know. The drums especially. That that swing is killer combo. <laughs> Shout out to the chat today, though, on this lovely, wonderful Sunday, April 14th, 2024, right? That's correct, right? We're in 2024, right? Sometimes it don't feel like it. Sometimes I feel like we wake up in the past or something. Something's off, but we here. Thank you guys for joining me on your Sunday. I know there's some cooler things for you to do or watch or partake in, perhaps, but you chose to be here. Shout out to everybody who catches these on a replay. You know, sometimes we're like, oh, this is going to be a music stream. This is going to be at 3 a.m. You just never know these days. I don't. But at least on the, on the strength of music production on the early onset, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to be, do my due diligence and make sure we get through the through the uh, the gems or the potential in this uh, AI situation we got going on. This video, of course, is brought to you by MGTheFuture.com. I have samples, drums, loops, MIDI, and impulse responses that you probably are going to want at a very fair price. Support the support and check out mgfuture.com. Today's website we'll be worrying about, though, is Udio. And I've done this before, I think, with Suno. Suno.ai. Udio and Suno. This is kind of like mid-journey and um, mid-journey for graphics versus, let's say, uh, Dolly or... Uh, I always want to say so <laughs> I want to say Sonic Alchemy so bad, but you know what I'm talking about. Leonardo.ai that has the alchemy uh, branding. But anyway, that's what this is like. So if you've seen my Suno video, this is very similar. But this one's called Udio. I think someone in the chat pointed this out. 10 pounds sterling says this for us, our resident translator. Udio equals anyone is a star. Kind of weird. But it is what it is. Shout out. Shout out to us resisting the machine takeover. I understand it is kind of weird, but. Are they lying, though? <laughs> but did they lie? Because wait till you hear what this one does. You understand what I'm saying to you? It's listen, don't let me hype this up too too much before I use it. I've never used it. I've used the other one like it. They're exactly the same, but. Hmm. I can't even explain to you how ridiculous this one is. Now, let me finish. The, I'm, I, I have so much to say. Jesus Christ, dog. Like, it just won't let me get it all out. You got to get your notepads. Pause. The shit, I need to get my notepad so I remember how to use this shit. Because, like, this is, like, the answer to a lot of hip hop. To So, hmm. Let, I'm overselling it again. Hold on. Just get this goddamn notepad out. Hurry up, Affinity. Yo, I can't wait until I get my budget right. And I can just get like the full blown AIDS version of Adobe with all the AI after effects and all that or whatever. I was going to do Final Cut Pro and like the variant version of that stuff, but I just want to use the templates that I see on Gumroad. I ain't going to hold you. I got shit to do. And I got the perfect computer for it. My computer is made for video editing for real, for real. But I don't have that many cool assets and overlays and lower third presets because I'm in a weird program. But that could change. That could change. That could change. I ain't worrying about it. Y'all ain't worrying about me being pretty right now anyway. So I appreciate that. You're so vain. That's that's my other 60,000 subscribers, though. So I got to work on it. Uh -huh. Make sure you click on that bell notification icon. I'm going to do my best to kind of stay, stay consistent and stream fairly regularly as long as my life and health and everything permits it. So. I'm not going anywhere just yet. I haven't even done my grand finale for real. What the fuck? I'm trying to find the perfect color for this. Udio shit, bro. And um, the first thing that came to mind, I'm just putting this down on paper so I can address everybody in the chat. But this might be, a, um, this is powerful. Like, this has the potential to revive. Ah, shit, I can't spell. Why am I trying to spell it that way? revive the BAP. You know what I'm talking about? I think one of the craziest things that happened like East Coast production or boom BAP is that some of the more prolific samples that exist in vinyl world, <laughs> you know, in the history of music can never be cleared. So you have some of the dopest underground hip hop boom BAP producers who had the ill sample collection, but when it's time to get placements or whatever, the record industry wasn't clearing the samples. So they never had a chance to get to that starlight. 
And then we got to a point where people start making keyboard beats, which is Korg, Yamaha, Roland, all the synthesizers, Lil John, all that. And then we had came into a moment where people was like, hey, we're good enough or networked enough now where we can interpolate our own samples. But people did the same thing. They just interpolated things that were already cleared or clearable so that you know that's not going to get in the way of you getting a placement and getting paid, right? So all of this has been kind of like centered around the money aspect. Like, cause you know, you are sampling someone else's stuff. It is the decent human thing to put them on splits. But for whatever reason, if you're a record company's interscope for the placement, but Atlantic owns that, they might not clear it on some bullshit. Cause they have a competing rapper, Ja Rule versus 50 Cent. Woo, woo, woo. You know, it's it's not just, you know, it's not as wild, wild west when we start talking about mainstream stuff. It's really not. All their ARs go to the same dinner parties and ditty parties together. Stay woke out here. So this tool divorces all of that. That is not the world you live in no more. So let's start there. I'm still going to get to the chat now. So please don't let me get too far ahead of myself. But this is like the temporal marker for the new world order of music production, right? Know that. I'm not saying you got to like it either, by the way. I'm not saying this is cooler than my idea for all-in-one sample workstation either. I'm not saying that. I'm saying for the world that you're currently in, this is going to be a new world of possibilities and potential for you, especially for my younger brothers who've never really gotten into sampling for those trickle-down reasons. And now we're in a weird space where people are talking about melodies or loops and collabs and splits. All right, let's, let's close the door on that real quick for this conversation. You're now, no matter what your musical prowess is, no matter what your skill set is, you can make samples for yourself with a text prompt. Yes, we've been had AI that's generating music from a text prompt. That ain't what the fuck I just said to you. I said you now have. Now listen to me, niggas. I'm, I'm, I'm spicing it up just to get y'all ready. Pause. Drop some likes on the way in, please. Cash app. When he signed MG the future, because this is going to change your whole shit, just like track library tried to do for a lot of my 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 Gen X's and older's. This is track live without track live trying to get twenty five dollars. First of all, first of all, first of all, I got to get to the chat. First of all, first of all, let me first of all, first of all, hold on. First, first of all, let me let me uh, let me. So you've seen Suno before, right? Suno.ai. Same thing. You put in a prompt, hit create, whoop, whoop, whoop. This website does it for free. Up to 1200 a day. $1,200 a day, my nigga. I paid for Pika Art and Mid Journey, and it was like 1200 per month. <laughs> this is 1200 for free a day. First of all, so let's get that out the way, right? So your Splice credits, your Track Live credits, you're not hearing me yet. You don't get it yet. And that's okay, because I didn't either. Shout out to Game from Busy Works Beats. He was, he was really up on it because what he was generating and what he was excited about. It was like, oh, that's just like Suno. And I was like, let me wait a little bit. Then I waited, Lord. Because what I hate about these older AI generators is that the voices sound stupid. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you know how to train a model, or you've seen people train a model and had it sing like Patrick for Sm from SpongeBob. That bending of some of the notes and all that editing, post-editing you got to do, it just seems too unnatural. And it's just too much work for to replace my experience of going to track lab or YouTube, download an MP3, put in Serato, and I'm done. This, 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 this shit was requiring a little bit more finesse. I don't know about that no more, Chief, because the most beautiful thing about these type of tools is the singing. Fuck the music. We can still replay and interpolate samples now. Don't forget, we still got AI splitters. You know what I'm talking about? Where we can split the acapella. Stay woke out here, niggas. You can you could split this shit now. Don't forget. It's right in Fruity Loops. Hold on. Let me show you in case we forgot. Because we talk about some goddamn Drake instrumental and shit, nigga. Watch what happens. If you've never seen this technology before, this is more so for a person stumbling across this video. I want to show you something. So I got the Drake joint that I wanted to remix. I felt like Drake would have went harder on a Just Blaze or Bink type beat for real. But I think Rick Ross is going to get it first, right? So, cool. So, we're going to go there. And wasn't I talking about in that video how, like, Rick Ross has to respond? And what did, what, and sure as God made green apples, what did Rick Ross do? I ain't forget, niggas. Anyway, so this is my edit of Drake's remix. And as of now, 2024, you can click on this 
extract stems from the sample and it will bust down the drums, the bass instrument and the vocals. Producers, DJs, we just need the vocals, right? You put a new track under it. Boom, it's a remix. Now, if you think about you as a sample creator, right? Niggas. Do I need to wait for MSX Audio to steal another one of my ideas and make it a whole product before you see the vision? Or are you going to hear me and take notes right now and do it before they do? I see you, niggas. Hashtag Machine Masters. Now, with this AI, you do the same thing, right? And then you got all your one shots. You got all your Motown contact. You have all that stuff. The only thing you were ever missing, and that's the main ingredient that Timbaland and Aaliyah showed me, was vocals. That's why some should be sounding dead. There's no voice. The reason why fucking Little John and all them niggas shit was hype was why? Because of voice. Voice. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Woo. Woo. All that. All those little micro human inflection voices that Timbaland used, John used, Polo used. Notice they all used them. That, that's in that Superstar O miscellaneous effects pack. You know what I'm talking about? Now you get to make those. Anytime you want. Any key that you want. And, and for the young gear slit forum poster and me. I don't think I can bear it, but I hope that my enthusiasm comes across so that you can unlock another level in your boom bap, in your lo-fi, in your sample pack creation. I, I, I see you, Aaron, in all of that, because that's what this is. That's what that is. That That's what this is. Now I'm going to fucking show you. So I'm just busting that down because I want to fuck with it, but... Shout out to my chat. Wait, how come I can't see the very top? Don't play with me. Okay, hold on. I think J God is first. Peace, bro. Exapil 100. Yes, sir. Marky Fats is in the building. J Mana, do I see you? Ayo Kakando. Ayo. D DT David Treasure. I see you, family. Be juggernauts. This is a classic classic. You is outside. 10 pounds sterling with the translation. I see you, brother. Be juggernauts. Says, Songs like this cause traffic jams figuratively and literally in Chicago back in the 90s. Beautiful people. Immersives in the building, hard drive deep down inside. You know the vibes. Calypso in the building, live long and prosper. El Cool J says a group of ex Deep Mind employees launch Udio. That's all a nigga needed to know. The the rest is history. You are now watching history at work, nigga. These ain't the niggas who downloaded the fucking open source off of GitHub to make some shit shake. These are the niggas that made the fucking open source that's on GitHub that other niggas is making you shit shake. And that is phenomenal. Rashane's in the building. Sup, MG. Sup, Rashane. I see you. I see you in the background chilling with the pack down. Oh, I was trying to do what the hook gonna be lyrics into that. How come I don't know what the hook gonna be lyrics? Come on, Murphy Lee. Anyway, Immersive Stuff currently is just a track live and Spice Killer. Wait. Wait, currently? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Y'all saw Allen Iverson's stature reveal? Yo, shout out to the GOAT basketball player who is really a star football player, and he won't even six foot three. Yo, if, if Allen Iverson was six foot three or taller, he would have, he would have, it would have been no conversation about who's the GOAT. But anyway, it, because, <laughs> you know, every time you bring out, <laughs> that is funny. Yo, universe, you funny as shit. Because my whole trope is, like, I could tell if someone's an NPC or not, depending on how they have a conversation with me about AI. And if you bring up AI like this, it's an AI video, UDO, most people are like, oh, man, I thought that was Allen Iverson. But as sure as God made green apples, Allen Iverson starts trending when AI starts trending. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Drake, oh, that's an AI thing. Or UDO, oh, that, you know, AI going to take away our bitches. Like, you know what I'm saying? Words connect, nigga. This shit's all connected. But whether you believe it or trust the science or not, that's the best thing about science. Ain't that what Neil deGrasse Tyson said? As above, so below. It's true for spirituality, too. It, it works whether you understand it or not. So, because this is all a fucking simulation. I mean, it's all code and all spirituality is the niggas that, that see the code. Hi, Matrix. Hi, Neo. We're, we're, we're reverse prompters for real. So, that's funny. So, yeah. AI is currently talking about practice. <laughs> Long story short, my man says it's currently a track live and splice killer. 
my nigga, widows is there to kill. That's it. And that's my point. Beautiful people. That's why we're here right now today on this lovely Sunday to see how cool I can make it. That don't mean it. That, you know, I ain't the end all be all. I don't I don't use it. But if I can, if I can, if I can do something cool enough, it's a wrap. That's all I know. And, and if it's a wrap, it's a wrap. It's Reynolds. You know what I'm talking about? And if it's a wrap, some of these producers got to go back to Subway and wrap, wrap these sandwiches. So, yeah, to that degree, it's like that. Shout to Immersive. He said, it's on the nose. Nostalgia is the only part you're not getting from it. Exactly. You do not have familiar familiarity or connection to what it's coming from. Unless you do. Unless you give it familiarity. Let me show you something real quick. And then I'll start the download, right? Just like what's coming to my mind about this tool. This is how I said, fuck the bullshit. Let's stream it today. So this guy, AI vocals, that's dope. Shout out to the brother. Which, how can I show you a full? Oh, you're in protection mode when someone's live. That's interesting that it does that. But this brother here, whose name I can't see, he posted this, which is an AI version of Vocaloid. I already have Vocaloid. I like it for what it was. If you remember my lo-fi run, I did some lo-fi acapellas with Vocaloid Japanese voices, and it was cute and clamorous. But it was just too much to figure out music theory-wise. Like, it's hard to write for a singer if you can't sing. You know what I'm talking about? You can't just write for a singer. Like, is it, you need templates or guidelines for a person like me, that is. So it, it's, it's, hard, it's more effort than I need. That's something AI could speed up. They said this tool right here that's, you know, in my Discord could do that. But these niggas was drawing melodies and singing again. I'm like, nigga, I don't know how to sing. What's the shape I'm supposed to use? What is the chord degrees or the um, scale degrees I'm supposed to write in between? And, you know, that's a, that's a, that's a science for real. You go to school for that for real. Like, even the school is at home. It's going to take you months and years to get a decent workflow in that. So what the fuck I need the AI for? To, to do the voice? No, nah, nigga, I need AI to show me how to the whole arrangement, nigga. So we're going to let them figure that out. But it was here. It was this fuck shit right here. And you know how I am. I'm, I'm an aficionado of everything fuck, sh- fuck shit and nigga culture and all the wannabes, you know, channeling that. That's just that's just my science. That's my political and social science. My people, right? And my people, like um, Sexy Red, because she's Indian, right? Put out some ratchet shit. And I said to myself, no, these niggas didn't. Go to midjourney.ai. And redo the Supremes type cover. Use the motherfucking, um, what's that kid's name? The graphic, shout out to Dude Clay. Use the Dude Clay airbrushes for the backdrop. <laughs> and call it Hotown Records. I'm hyping this up for you. I'm going to walk you through what portal this is, right? Now, this ain't the first time we've seen a trick like that. Where they train a language model on an old voice. And then you type or you give it a reference acapella and it follows it. Again. That's only as useful as your reference. And if you can't sing and make your own references on the fly to change to another voice and you're not using Steam credits and bullshit plugins to do it, it's not fun. There's just too much resistance to get to it. Now, if I get into my microphone like, dun, 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 and I could type, retype my words and keep it and then the voice comes out and say, now nah, I need harmonies, now nah, I need backdrops, now nah, I need all that. That'd be fucking ill. But our AI or our processors ain't there yet for the DAW to do it like that. So... The biggest setback to all these sample creation things is that the voices is not. And then once you get the voices like on Suno, like the niggas start rapping and shit with the lyrics you type, but then it like kind of, you know, hallucinates some shit. And it's like, yo, then you re-roll it and you get a totally different beat under it. And you're like, what the fuck, nigga? I'm trying to perfect this song right here. And that's, you know, that's the, that's just the limitations of, you know, current generative AI. But not saying that this app fixed it, but look how, but I want you to listen to how ridiculous it is. And the part I want you to pay attention to is just the background vocals. Just, and, and mind you, they're using sexy red lyrics to generate it. And that's the disrespectful part. And that's the part that I'm excited about. I'm out of town thugging with my rhyme. My coochie pink and my booty hole brown. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for the
nigga. What the fuck is going on for real? Can somebody please walk me through? <laughs> Can someone please walk me through what the fuck is going on right now? Just just walk me through. Ex- explain this to me like I'm six, nigga. What just happened? That's that. That's that. You remember I was telling y'all guys a couple of three M's ago about Ray Kurzweil. And he said, we didn't really appreciate exponential growth when it comes to Moore's law or technology. The last time I gave a fuck about AI for my workflow, it was hallucinating and scrambling shit. Much like how Mid Journey version three, when I got on, freaked me out with SpongeBob. And I was like, oh shit, it's almost there. And now the new Mid Journey seven or whatever the fuck we about to go into is just like, I could put my face in any scene, but pause. And it's just like, what can I do with this now? Now it's like, I, I put some more money on, on on it, put it on my credit card and, and make a movie out this bitch eventually. You know what I'm talking about? I got to. I just have to because that is ready for that. Music wasn't ready for that. But what I'm just telling you is they gave it the goddamn pound town lyrics. And, 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 and Diana Summer or, or motherfucking um, Tracy Ellis Ross mama motherfucking Patty LaBelle's backup dancer. I'm talking about everybody was on the hook, my nigga. They figured that out. Now, the person who created that, I don't know what his prompt was. So I was concerned. I was concerned like this was an advanced nigga, you know, following the trends like us. And he just, you know, he did some extra homework assignments. Like he, he, he went there. <laughs> so I went to the website cause fuck all that speculation. And the first thing I see my nigga, this is the I just the first thing I seen on this website. I didn't even, I, as soon as I played this, I said, "Get the fuck out my face!" Because it showed you what the prompt was. I was like, "Oh, we live in, we live in, we're living." That's the prompt, right? So you know how the prompts work on other websites. You could just copy and paste this and change something to generate your own, right? And then you got the remix button, so you don't even have to do that. Why is that important, MG? Because once you hit remix or once you modify the lyrics per, per se, you keep the track, but you change what it's singing. You're not hearing me though. You know why you're not hearing me? Because you didn't grow up on the ASR 10 beats. This is important. Oh man, I wish I had this like 2005 for it because one of the biggest setbacks I ran into making beats for niggas or trying to get people to use my beats. That's more important. That's more accurate. It was hard for me to get beats off that didn't have a hook in them. Why? Because at that time, New York had it so crazy that most of the East Coast bar em up rappers, the 88 beats per minute and higher niggas, had those mainstream soul sample hooks. And if you notice, your favorite rappers don't really have good hooks. They have good beats that have good hooks. So my brain just went, okay, let's do that. But eventually you run out or you run into a situation where you've heard it on the internet, someone did that sample, so it's kind of corny to you. And you know, you wanted to customize the theme for how to, so you got hooks where you get a rapper rapping about some girls, like Jay-Z or Fab. Then you get some shit that's just like some rock and roll nigga going crazy, dipset cam shit. You, you didn't really, it was luck of the draw is what I'm trying to say to you. The hook was luck of the draw. With this tool, the hook is whatever the fuck the hook's going to be. Meaning your rapper who used to come to the studio without a hook, but he had his 16 bars ready, he could record that. Think about the hook. And we could go type in the goddamn hook now. We could go find somebody else who made a cool little 70s song on this website because that's the shitty shit about AI, the communism part of it. You can't hide your prompts unless you pay for that. So once somebody figures out how to do one thing cool on this, everybody can just reinterpolate it. Roll the dice again with the same structure. That's why AI is kind of beautiful in that way. The way they're currently iterating. So let's listen to this fuck shit. I, we could just listen to these and you'll see why. You'll, you'll see. Don't forget you have this. And that's what I'm saying because now you put that bullshit in the hair and you just solo the horn stabs. You know what I'm talking about? Maker, y'all depend on. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the f- you can already do that. We can already do that. That trick right there. That trick can only get better when AI starts resynthesizing the audio. Hashtag upscale audio. Once they start doing upscale audio on our splits to where it just resynthesize Drake's voice at high quality. 
You sort of get all that aliasing out. Game over. But now think of it in terms of generating unlimited 70 samples. And then you go, that's the baseline, but that's the wrong bass. Upscale, hornet bass, upscale Jimi Hendrix guitar. You hear what I'm saying? I'm telling you that's where they're going, niggas. And I thought we had years for them to go there. We ain't got years, nigga, by the end of the summer. Each trip's a trip to paradise. Nah. You've heard the other AI ass melodies, right? Hold on. Let me, I, I, I saved them. I ain't, I ain't forget, nigga. This is what Suno and Juno and them niggas sounded like just a couple months ago. Hold on. These random ass melodies that just disconnect. They don't, they don't always, they don't always snap. Watch this one. This one of them. AI generated Suno. Late night, cruising down the city streets. You by my side. You see, it's trying to auto tune some shit that's not real and it's, it's falling flat. You hear the voice in the background? They want to be a croup the truth sample so fucking bad. But what I was geeked out about that generator was like, it gives you drum patterns perfectly. Use them. You see what I'm talking about? You see, you you, you wasn't outside. And obviously, Jake, Drake and J. Cole and everyone producers wasn't outside when I did that either. Because what the fuck was that? Anyway, so. Check this. To be girls, we're on a mission. But it's back all day without inhibition. Crunchy chips. And chocolate treat sticks We're unstoppable Can't be beat Snack queens, that's what we are Being everything from near and far That's what we just were, nigga It was like, oh shit, it wrote the song and it sung it But it's pitchy, it's not, it's not sampleable. That was December, my niggas Wake up, wake up, it's the first of the month It's April, nigga it's actually almost the 15th. No two days are like, except for the first and 15th, pretty much. Yup. So that's where we're at now. So just in three to four months, these niggas fix that pitchy ass bullshit. Baby on board. How I've adored that sign on my car's window pane. The bounce in my step loaded with pep cause I'm driving in the carpool lane. Call me a square Friend, I don't care That little yellow sign can't be ignored mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm telling you it's mighty nice Each trip's a trip to paradise With my baby Get the fuck out my face, nigga. What in the Fallout 3 soundtrack? Do y'all understand how fucking... How... <laughs> Yo, we saw the fuck. Yo, yo, these niggas just fucking around in a laboratory, and I'm out here trying to figure out life. Like, tag me in, coach. Tag me in, coach. They're this fucking close, my niggas. Like, it ain't, it ain't the gap ain't that far. It's not like how we gonna get Vocaloid to sound like Chris Brown no more. It's like fuck all that shit. Who are these niggas? Wait, I can type the lyrics, nigga? Get the fuck out of my face, nigga. Now, think of the implications of this technology outside of you being a producer, making music to make money. Like, think of it just an application, like, whatever that engine is. Remember, I was telling you, AI is not going to go crazy until the technology is ready for it. So we need NVIDIA. Yeah, did you know NVIDIA and AMD are cousins? That shit blew my mind. Like, them niggas acting like they're competing. Nigga, you're the same. You all got the same grandma. Get the fuck out of my face. But I guess because AMD is the female cousin, NVIDIA is the male cousin. Anyway, because the male cousin is leading the charge in the commerce, his chips or, you know, whatever variants we'll see out of Taiwan or Mexico next. Because you know how the Chinese give it up. But um, 
those chips, once they become the power that you need to run AI locally, I guess is what I'm trying to internalize or speak into existence for us niggas. Because if they don't give us access to this and they keep it closed can, clan, uh, co- closed can subscription paywall tiered, we're never going to be great. We need we need to be able to fuck with it without the without the um DEI agenda, without the constraints, without the legality loophole that it's going to try to enforce through a service. You need that shit for home. When this shit gets homed is what I'm talking about, or it's part of a chip. You remember back in the day? I'm sorry, I'm riffing because we're going to get to it for real. But let me let me riff real quick. You remember back in the day, like how music was on your video game console? Like in the Sega Genesis 16-bit joint, there's an actual synthesizer in there. The cartridge only stored MIDI data. So the reason why some of those video games are so nostalgic and so timeless, because it's like an analog synthesizer. It's literally playing the song from scratch every time. So it's like listening to a Moog recording in a VST or a waveform. But then when you play a Moog, right? My Moog is so magical, dog. Like, I don't even need to use it to make beats. It's just every once in a while, I need to turn it on and like fuck around and play chords and arps because it does something that nothing else can do because you could tell it's the electricity. You know what I'm saying? You could feel the force pause. So your Super Nintendo had a, a synthesizer. Your Sega Genesis has a synthesizer. And there's a little chip on it that that's responsible for it. What I'm saying is that same chip theory. Now put UDO in a chip on your game console or Roku or whatever the fuck, you know, niggas is going to want to do your, your telephone update that chip in whatever. Now you have a situation where a few fucking things are going crazy right now. They're, uh, they're testing it with unreal putting chat GPT there, but right now there's a delay. Why is there a delay MG? Because the computer is not ready yet. But once that video game has the chip on the Xbox hard drive or however they're going to play this, all those conversations they're having with the matrix Four video game people becomes real time. So when you go to Grand Theft Auto 6 and them niggas are saying like random shit and it's funny as hell. Now imagine giving it the language model to understand funny as hell from Friday, from Dave Chappelle, from whatever. Those AI bots in your game over have unlimited conversations with each other on the strength of just that chip. Now, when you turn the radio station on, those songs become unlimited and they can um, feed into the storyline of the game because you can make the random character at the club in hour two of the game, come on the radio later, singing a song about what you just did in his voice on the hottest Metro Boomin type beat of the year you're playing that game at all times, my nigga. That's the same thing with the actors in Hollywood. They're worrying about their likeness being stolen. No, nigga. The jig is up. It don't matter if they steal and sample your likeness. They're not going to use you no more. They can just use a little slider to go between the rock Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart and find a new nigga in between. Now, check this out. When that chip gets in the fucking Roku block, then what stops you from watching? This is going to be the illest shit about it. And and that's why life is going to get weird. It's going to get really weird. These motherfuckers want a new world order that's decentralized. Y'all niggas is crazy. Because, because think, oh, I think I'm saying that from the background as a capitalist society crony that was raised and indoctrinated. So forgive me, future past. But right now, as, as I understand how to get ahead in life, what if I'm watching Shogun, right? Right now on Hulu Plus, and you know how you can like pause it and switch it to subtitles or dub or um, there's different settings like more and more of these apps are giving you to modify your experience, speed it up, subtitles, all that shit. Now imagine one that gives you every actor in the show, right? And you go, that character, I want to be me. And then I had a problem with the fact that they're alluding to this nigga had a Moorish bloodline. I was like, well, all right, make that character half black. We watch a movie and it has some other actor. Make his voice Denzel Washington. We watch another TV show with an anime and everybody white. Make them niggas Japanese. I want to see how they fight. That's where you're headed. So what's the most important thing when everything is customizable class? Narrative. Because all the shit's a hero's journey anyway. Now you can customize the sounds, the dialogue, the color, 
the color grade? Is it daytime? Is it nighttime? Are you depressed? Do you want to be happy? You could customize all the narratives and still be in sync with the narrative on Twitter or online or at your job or whatever, because what job, nigga? AI, nigga. You'll be at least the narrative will stay intact to the degree that you allow it or they allow you to customize it. But your personal experience with the shit is different. And, and you and you and you and you and you you horny police niggas. I know what y'all going to be doing to all those goddamn real time model emulators on the goddamn TV show. Sir, this is a target. But still, the potential is there for the freak shit too. Don't stay woke. That's why you have a whole demographic of subscriptions and customization and custom, not language models, but model models. You know what I'm talking about? That you, that you got you to gotta jailbreak so the kids don't get it. But I've seen niggas, you know what blew my mind the other day? Pause. I was thinking about getting a retro console, but I got to be careful because my eyes, so my eyes don't receive blue light. Very so tiny anyway, my contrast ain't that sharp as it used to be. But the blue light with that is just a recipe for disaster. That's like my experience on the Switch was kind of like thwarted because of that. But I was reading about them and trying to find a good one. And someone has said, yo, I got a retro classic uh, PS1, but the mini, like the little PS1. And he was like, yeah, and you can um, jailbreak it or whatever to play um, what they were playing on the PS1 or some bullshit. Nah, I'm bugging, nigga. It happened the other way. This kid was talking about he had a jailbroken PS1 retro modded classic tiny joint. And he said... With the modification he got in it, it runs the games faster than the PS1. I was like, wait, what, nigga? You could speed up Resident Evil loading times, nigga? Like, do you know how crazy that is? Because I had mad PS1 games that, like, even if it didn't have the scratch in it, like, there was this 3D robot fighter shit, Gundam type shit, but it was a fighting game like Street Fighter. That shit loaded so slow to get those models on screen, but you could speed that up? What? And then some Super Nintendo retro modder nigga said, yo, but low key, high key, the SNES Japanese mod retrofitted joint play PS1 the games better. What? Nigga, what? You play, you did what? You put the PS1 ROM on the goddamn SNES retro box and it played the games better? How? Like, where is that? You know what I'm saying? But because of, you know, commerce and commercialism and stuff, you'll never know about that unless you're in those communities. Same thing. This is going to have the same exact phenomenon to speed it up, to make it better, to make it more customizable. It's going to be the same thing. Because they made it open source. Stay woke. What's up with the chat? We're going to go through some more. Because you know how I give it up. Pause. It's a scary Fife Dog vibe. <laughs> Shout out to Beat Juggernauts. Go to this video. The free AI creator. You said there's a video or oh, you give me the title to look up. Let's do that. Can it? Can it let me copy that? Did, did it let me copy the. Come on, YouTube. Come on, dog. Don't play with me. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You said 945 on this joint right here, B Jug. Hey, oh, that's everybody. my man's that's my man's pots and pans. I, I'm subscribed to him, ain't I? I am. That's my man's pots and pans. He be helping me out with the uh with the with the uh the mid journey shit, the prompts, like to know what's going on in the streets. He's a good dude. Shout out to theoretically media. Uh this is hidden with the Udio flow, East Coast hip hop. Uh definitely has again that early nineties hip hop vibe to it. Gonna hit him with the Udio flow. Must be about an amnesia. The way they never know. So it's when I get low, you call me Jacques Cousteau. When I'm Marco Polo going places that they never know. 100% props to the Jacques Cousteau name drop. Anyhow, let's hit this remix button. And as you can see here, we now have the entire prompt along with the lyrics. Uh, so we can change out these prompts as well. We're gonna try to change this out to more of a Beastie Boys thing. I don't know if it's gonna work, we'll see. Uh, so swapping out the prompt to New York, East Coast hip hop, Beastie Boys, just calling them straight out, uh, boom bap, rhythmic. And then I changed out to three male vocals. There's a variance knob here too, or slider rather. So I'm gonna take this down and make this actually more on the different side. Uh, I'm just gonna run it and we'll see what we get. No cherry picking. So interestingly, Udio caught that Beastie Boys keyword and just gave me an artist replace tag. Uh, as you'll note, we do not generate artist likeness without permission. We've replaced Beastie Boys you the track with five, and then a nigga. bunch of other keywords. That said, let's take a listen to Boogie Down Vaults and see what we got. 
Don't wanna hit them with the Udio flow Must be about an amnesia, the way they never know Though it's when I get low, you call me Jacques Cousteau But I'm Marco Polo Going places that they never go Okay, so we didn't get the Beastie Boys, and that's okay. Uh, what was interesting, though, is hearing that echo delay on the vocals. That is something. So, yes, Udio is developed by some ex-members of Google's DeepMind, but what's interesting to me is that the I plan is that the Udio platform will be available to non-musicians and people that just kind of want to have some fun with it. That's cap. The, 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 it's DeepMind, nigga. They're teaching their AI how to be flavor, nigga. They want to see all your flavor picks and all your fucking prompts. They're going to steal it, simplify it, train it faster, exponential workflow, and they're going to make that chip with NVIDIA's little cousin and sister's brother, and then they're going to sell that shit to iTunes, Spotify, billion, trillion evaluation dumb shit in the credit line for the next 20 goddamn fucking years of narrative building. Ain't got shit to do with recreating no goddamn hip-hop for them. For them, for them, for why they're using us. But nah, but for us. In the meantime, while, you know, while we're not in the bunkers and shit, unless we're in a bunker already, stay woke, niggas. But while we're in the perceived freedom space, yo, the fuck is going on, nigga? Like, I just don't know, dog. I don't know about you, man. I'm I'm excited, and then I'm terrified. Normally, you know, that's what you expect. That's that uncanny valley shit fucking my paws, like fucking shit up. So I think, um, let me hear what he had to say. Hold on. Let me just see how he wrapped up. But boss. it is also being built to empower musicians. To that, they've enlisted artists to help in terms of feedback during development, such as Will I Am, Common, Tay Keith, and apparently me. I don't, I don't know what I'm Tay doing Keith there. And hilarious. so I did ask them a number of features that not only I have been hoping for, but you guys have asked for in the comments. So for one, yes, the plan is to eventually be able to export stems from each of these generations. You see what I'm saying? The world's behind us. We we could already do that. Stems being isolated tracks, like just the drums, just the vocals. Or but unless they do stem stems, where we ain't got to worry about all the instruments being lumped together as one file. If they do stem stems, and it's like every track that the AI hallucinated from the horn solo, so you could fucking SP-1200 bit rate, you bit rate reduce that son of a bitch, nigga. You put that, you, you get the fucking train sound from Mob Deep re-emulated in fucking Thailand, nigga. Like, you, you always got the fucking high-frequency content generated from this dumbass thing, bro. Then they put that bitch in a plug-in, like Jamma Hook and them are trying to do. Like, wait till Jamma Hook and GPT and them niggas hook into this damn database of fuckery, wizardry, black magic, fucking runes, Moorish rune, what they call it, a more rune stone ass, five ass niggas, bro. Like, nah, family, this shit's moving too fast. That was that was just too fast from December to right there. That's too fast, bro. That is that is too fuck that shit. I'm going back. Hold on. Discover. Do I have creations? Have I used this before? No, I did no cap in my rap, but shit. I need to start liking some of these bitches. Hold on, nigga. Is there a search? I know there is. So you, you ain't ever got to start from scratch. Y'all know that, right? So let me see if I find let me see if I find a pound town. But but cap, nigga. Hold on. What's the Pound Town called? Don't don't tell me. Was it was it called Pound Town? They probably didn't call it that to block out sexy red or lightness, right? Because she's hot right now. Pause. Oh, hmm. what would the, I wish we had an audio AI prompt? What was that prompt? I don't care about hip hop. I don't care about that. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm looking for, nigga. I'm looking for the Supremes. How about they got a lightness clause too, don't they? But they fifty plus years older. I ain't fucking think so, bitch.
sun don't shine as bright no more. No more. Since the day you walked out that door. <laughs> Oh my god, they hit us with the oopty wopty, my nigga. They said the song is too long to remix. Please select a shorter song. So you know, like this is like all the other AI generators where uh it'll generate a fixed amount of uh music, and then you can um edit your prompt to extend it, like to give it a verse, a hook. Like you start with a simple concept and then you can extend it if you're trying to use it to make a final product. I don't really care about that. But what sucks about it is this person extended it and you can't edit those. When you can't edit those, you can steal the goddamn prompt. Give me your damn prompt, bitch. Stop playing with me. I'll, I'll just waste a prop. What becomes of the broken hearted? You know what I'm talking about, goddamn. Oh. Give me a from the Oh, fucking. In the style of. Mm mm. Mm mm. I want to I hurt their I want to hurt their feelings. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it'll let me do that. Oh, and it gives you suggestion props. Oh, you get oh they took it they took it down from uh twelve thousand. They gave us six hundred. What is this little eye? Let me see this. What the fuck does that mean? You ch So 600 plus 600? What does that mean? Anyway, that number too high for me to worry about on this stream. So earlier I said it was 1,200 a day. I think it's 600. Whatever, though. Whatever, though. Artist replace. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. So it tells you what it replaces, which is awesome. And it tells you also that Stylistics and Whitney Houston has a different situation right so they did one with one and one with the other which is because it's going to generate this one only generated two at a time so maybe it'll do four next time it don't even fucking matter and there was that extend button i was saying about to turn it from 33 seconds so you can add different layers to the song if you want to use it in the background of a video or something right that's the other thing too for all my film editors instagram content creators and stuff now you can um create soundtracks right instead of going to like some music database of high energetic hip hop stadium track, you can type all that same shit and get the instrumental for your intro, right? But then you can create lyrics and songs that are singing the theme of your song. Use your goddamn imagination like Barney said. Yo, shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> Yo, did this nigga just vamp on a hook, nigga? Did they just vamp on a hook? And you told, you telling me, nigga, that they're about to give us export stems. So that means if there's more than one voice, you're gonna get a stem per vocal. We ain't gotta hack as much and fuck up the aliasing as much. They just gonna print the acapella for you in layers, nigga. And that nigga just vamped on the wrong hook, but I could take it and move it to the end. Auto tune it a little bit better because that nigga was struggling. You know what I'm talking about? That ain't the voice for that trick, but he did it. Jules D says, This is AI. Jules, I just typed in ideas, brother. But that's not what I'm geeked about. What I'm not geeked about is the fact that AI can do that. AI's been trying to do that. Hold on. How do I edit? Nah, I don't want to edit image, my nigga. Let me um remix, I think. Is that oh do do you let me change the lyrics? Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh. Ah no, I don't even have to I know lyrics. I got lyrics in my head. I don't need to copy and paste. Hold on. Hold on. I know these songs. Oh! 
God damn it, bracket. I think it's, I think the nomenclature is parentheses for background vocals and brackets for parts of the song, right? We do that. A little different. Custom lyrics, nigga. Hit them with the El Remix, though. Sorry, I went out of 600 monthly and daily. Oh, Lord. So we only get 600 a month. But you could do up to 600 a day. Okay, so. It doesn't um it doesn't lock you out their server. You're not limited. Well, I'm sorry. The limit of how much you could do a day is 600. But the limit how much you could do a month is 600. So what they're saying to you is you could blow all your credits today where other generators might limit you to like four or eight a day. They say, fuck it. We're just going to give you 600 period. And you can do as many as you want right now. But if you hit 600, that's it for your ass. I could already tell like like on some hip hop producer shit and just fucking around, you want to blow half it. Pause. You want to blow half of these just fucking around. But then you think about it. How many samples you going to flip? 30, you know, one, let's say one of days. That's plenty. I think, I think, but we got to see, we got to see how good it really is. And it's not going to be really good to me until I can do what the fuck I want. Jules Z says, we not going to act like this is not very serious. It's over. Mm -hmm. I know. Ayo Kakondo says it even got the panning right. El Kuja says, we out here with this one. Quan John in the building. He said, hey. Haru says, nah. Shout out to Antonio McKinney. Hey, 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 I'm the legend. Haru says, this is nuts. Will William the Seventh says, Ayo, this is too ill. Prompt hip hop, East Coast hip hop, New Jersey. It was going to give us a Joe Button track. With Just Blaze, pump, pump it up. Deontay DJC said, AI go it up. Blaze One and Show says, I asked for it. A song in the style of Leon Silvers on the third mix in the style of Leon Silvers the third. The fuck? Did it do it? Aretha Franklin Robot, you got it. P9DE says, so retrograding everything is next ish or rather future grading. So what do you, wait, hold on. I didn't understand that question, P9DE. Can you, can you run that back one more time? You said, so retrograding everything. That put me into astrology. So I don't think that's what you mean. So you said retrograding everything is the next ish or rather future grading. You talking about like color grading or you talking about like how AI can repaint things like in theory, like what human behavior is going to do. We're just going to retrofit or retro act, like recreate older things or future proof old things and recycle. I don't know if that's what you're saying. I think you start that way. You start this way to learn the tool. For instance, this is my classic adage. When people used to be bitching at me about music theory, MIDI, and scalar. They said, well, why don't you take the chords from the songs for it? Be original and just keep hitting random chords until you hear something in your head and you make the beat off of that. And I'm like, what for, nigga? You learn a guitar by playing other people's songs. Correct me if I'm wrong. If I took piano class at six, they're putting sheet music that some other nigga wrote in front of me to get me to memorize my keys. So why would that be different with MIDI? I'm looking at the patterns and I'm using the tools to help me see the most known patterns even better. I ain't got to play that bullshit hot cross buns because that's what's in all the music books for kids. I can pick the song I want to learn, see it, emulate it and, and get good fast. I think that's why they're getting mad because we're getting good so fast with the tech. Like we're, we're skipping those steps of whack ass beats for years and years and years that I was describing on the internet in the early days. Once you had Melodyne and then Nick Mirrors and those types showing you the MIDI and stuff, like it was over. Like making a bad beat is hard right now. So this is that. This is you, you know, whatever, man. I, I see the vision already. I ain't even got to explain my goddamn self. God. Isn't it amazing? So much ish, but still that communication. For how beautiful the kids gonna be, girl. I don't need convincing. Swinging, swinging, eyes closed, just swinging. Oh, oh, oh. Same city, same friends. If you're looking same. for me, same city, same friends. If you're looking, I'll be here just swinging. Oh, oh, oh. What? 
That's not even the way I wanted it to do it. That's does not even the way I wanted it to do it. And it may have did it better than the way I wanted it to do it. Oh, I can't wait till AI gets training wheels and it keeps your pause, your beat intact. Don't, I know I hit the slider on that one, but keep the damn, keep the shit intact and let me rewrite the words. Don't change that nigga voice once. Like, just let me, just let, just keep the, keep, give me the framework, nigga. Because either I want to change that bullshit ass keyboard to another keyboard, keep the framework, or I want to change the key of it, keep the framework, or I want to change the voices, keep the framework. Like, once AI can be stable diffused, nigga, you know what? You know what I'm talking about? Y'all not hearing me, though, because y'all wasn't outside. They didn't believe this day would happen. And I told these niggas the day was happening when the day happened. What I'm telling you is, family, this ain't even mid journey. This, no cap. This is the mid journey of music AI, nigga. Hold on. Hot take. This is the mid journey of the bullshit. When you when you generate that incredible Hulk and Dragon Ball Z image for the first time and it fucked your shit up like what? That's what this is. What I'm waiting for, my niggas, is Sora. You saw how fast we went from Mid Journey, Pika Art, and those other little animating the still images and the nigga arm fall apart. You saw what that was, right? Last summer, like between now and last summer. And then Sora dropped. Sora, we we can't even touch Sora, nigga. Sora's so deadly, they ain't gonna, they ain't, they ain't gonna let us touch Sora. They won't give us some bullshit ass Unreal 3 version of Sora, bitch ass niggas, and sell the other one to Tyler Perry. I already know. But whatever, whatever, nigga. But how Sora was like that from Pika to Sora. You know what I'm talking about? You know that jump? You know that jump that just happened in a couple of weeks of us talking about it? You know what I'm talking about? I only did three Pika art music videos for two products. You know what I'm talking about? So this is just a season for me. In one season, we went from Pika and Mid Journey to Sora. And you still can't touch Sora. Now imagine when Sora hit this. That's the vision. Fuck the fact that this shit can write songs and sing songs and emulate your favorites. That's not what that, this ain't that. This, that's, this is how you, this is the beginning. That, all that, that you, all this that you're that in, is the that that you need for it to become this, what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is upscaling, dog. When this shit gets upscaled and they want to give you stems and control over, like I saw I saw other AIs that give you control of the layers already, but the shit corny. It generates EDM-based dead mouse melodies that we already have in Cthulhu and Scalar. So I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm saying from a programmer perspective, it's beautiful. From a tech perspective, it's beautiful, but it ain't it yet. When this goes to it level with Sora, like stems and substitute instruments and I want to make a bridge and I want to tell the music to change. When you're rapping, just like I'm holding this microphone now and I just upload this part of my conversation, my voice, and I tell it to take everything I'm talking about and turn it into an eight bar verse. Rapping about what I just described to you into in, in podcast voice casting form. Turn that into a rap with my voice rapping like Biggie. So I'm not just creating content, you know, dry eyes, clear eyes. I'm not that nigga. I can now turn that shit into a jingle for kids. You're not hearing me yet. That, that, that's that commerce side of the brain. That's that right brain shit. That's that other shit. That's what this is. That's what this is for. This ain't this ain't that. This ain't so that you're going to make the hottest beats ever anymore versus your friends with the same tool who's going to find your prompt and steal it. You're not battling for that no more. It's over. That part of the game is over, which is why I'm so excited about the hip hop battle being the final one per se, you know, per, per, per metric, per hip hop metrics. That's the last one. We have to have it. They have to duke it out. We have to say number one and it's over. At the same time, AI is about to tell these niggas, pack it up. It's over. That's what I'm saying. Like, Wow. Jules pontificates such. Nah, I feel like the future of this is the death of art. Do doom doom. Everyone going to be like, nah, that was AI. And you'll be like, nah, I recorded that myself in my garage of real instruments. But it doesn't even matter. Soon you're not even going to hear the difference between the two. I'm going I'm to dissect the first part, but I agree with you on the second part. When AI becomes indistinguishable 
for, so no, let's be specific. Cause the hardest thing to instrument, the, the hardest thing for computers to emulate is a stringed instrument for whatever fucking reason, all the little micro tonal harmonies and constantly changing. You think it's a one line and it's not that shit. Um, which is why like Melodyne is only really good at like voice and guitar separation. Anyway, once they overcome that, and that's a math problem, right? That's a fractal problem, not a not a we won't figure it out problem. It's that we don't have enough CPU problem. NVIDIA said, hold your horses, right? Follow me. This is this is Google DeepMind. You know what that means? Them niggas have a subscription to their home base's cloud server to run AI. Like that's why this is different. It's not the I it's not the coder per se. It's they have the NVIDIA shit that I was telling you about. Pause. When you get a version of that, this this ain't that no more, brother. Like when it when that live grand piano, so you tell it live grand piano performed live by Alicia Keys, New Year's Eve on, you know, the Apollo Theater um, with Steve Harvey talking in the background and fucking Bobby Hemmett coughing. And they do that. And then you play that behind Sora showing you that. And then you go in your head like, I know this is fake because these niggas are never in the same room, but it don't feel or sound or seem fake. Then you, so, but I agree with you on that part. That's called, that's, 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 that's the uncanny valley effect that this is, will have this. I, I want to say by summer for some reason, it might be even longer because of regulations, but by summer, right? We'll see a glimpse of that. Now hold it. Your first part says this, this, the death of art. That sentiment is like the most knee jerk, um, classical romantic human take on everything that's different is that we're going to get to the point where it kills art and then becomes indistinguishable. Thus, nobody cares. Let me walk you through real life as it happened for real, though, like as it happened in real time with us, me and you, too. No one ever cared. AI ain't going to make people stop caring. Niggas haven't been caring about music my whole life. What are we talking about? See, coming from the hip hop background, I guess a lot of people didn't get verbally accosted talking about they want to be hip hop producers as kids in the late 90s, early 2000s. And even sooner, right? Because think about it, folks. Let's do let's do the science on this. If I was born in 1995, not born, if my producer, if MG The Future was born in 1995, right? And I wanted to get in the game, not make beats at home, but get in the game. They would tell me, I need to save up for an MPC 3000 or SP 1200. Every every super producer story I know, it goes like this. Dark Child's daddy helps him save up from the church money to buy one or something along that line, which is cool. Uh, such and such best friend was a drug dealer, so he bought it. Oh, that's cool. But I need you to do the science on that. I would, my dumb ass would have got a summer job. I would have got a summer job. I would have put that shit on layaway and I would have put three to six thousand dollars on the SP 1200. Just for me to learn how to sample some hip hop drums for my grandma's stash of uh, 45s for some other nigga who used to play in a funk and soul band to tell me that the art form is dying. And why did I just spend four to six thousand dollars on this microwave when I could have just learned how to play drums at church? Every time we switch focus or every time we switch what we're paying attention to, that's the same narrative. It's the nigga with the horses. You've ever heard this metaphor before or the variations of it, right? It's a very common technology versus humanity argument. The horse guy, the guy who raised cattle with horses. He bred purebred thoroughbred horses and sold X amount of horses and horses were relied on for travel. Horses was relied on for your mailman. Horses rely for for battle, military, so these niggas get shot and shit. Horses fall off of cliffs. So the nigga who was raising horses, the best type of horses, the fastest horses, the most endurance horses, he saw the fucking fo- the, 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 well, Actually, I was about to say the Ford Model T, but they got that from niggas. But this nigga seen some niggas on some electric wheels. And he said, I ain't got nothing to worry about. Everybody buying horse feed. Everybody got land where... Remember, they have that big land, 40 acres and shit to put animals on it. They kids ain't playing about there back there. So now you got to think about it at that time, as the horses transition into the car, the new people, Gen X, millennials, et cetera, alphas, they're like, we don't need big houses. We want to live next to the goddamn city anyway. So we can get smaller houses. 
We don't need those backyards for real because we're not using horses. All we need is a garage for this Ford Model T, which is going to get us to and fro work, to and fro entertainment, to and fro the bitches even quicker. And then your grand, your great granddaddy, your, your great, 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 great the granddaddy, he damn near 80, 90 years old talking about, they don't know nothing about no thoroughbred, the goddamn polluting the environment with that goddamn oil and that black smoke. That's going to be the downfall of all of them. He wasn't wrong. Mad people have died from pollution and disease, but mad more people were fucking and born because of it, too. So, yeah, the technology caused people to die of smog and shit, but they're working in coal mines in real time when they're making that stupid ass argument that one of my grandfathers died in a coal mine. Let's talk about it. But that allowed him to fuck more. Y'all don't y'all don't see what I'm saying. Most people don't look at it holistically. Yeah, it's bad for these different things and more people will die. But because it's convenient and faster, more people are fucking. So you're going to have more people die of things they never died before, but you will have 10 times more people. And we don't look at ratios, right? What what what, what our boys on the, on the alt right be saying per capita? You know, so, you know, we don't look at the per capita effect of this shit. So the per capita of this of no one giving a fuck because it's AI been happened without AI. You know what I'm talking about? People were watching a hip-hop battle right now with the biggest artists ever in the last decade. Follow me. Walk with me. The biggest artists of the past decade are battling right now, and it's only good enough for two to three days of Twitter talk. Who cares, nigga? Who cares now? You you care about Metro Boomin'? You, out of everything you've heard or have heard about or been around for the past hmm, two months, you want to find out who made those loops and hit him up on Instagram and see if he can send you a folder right now? You care that much? You want to know what doll they use in these battles? Do you want to know what Future's vocal chain is right now? You open up a new thread on Reddit or gear or what? I won't call it gear slits, but they change it because they bitch gear space. You want to go to gear space and ask how do they, you know, get the 808? No. No one cares no more because everyone knows. Once everyone knows, no one cares. That's the same thing with secrets, right? Like you'd be so petrified and so scared that someone's going to reveal some secret or embarrassing fact about you versus the person who's always exposing their dumb shit in front of everybody. They're not embarrassed. They don't give a fuck what no one thinks. And they're living a happier life. You're keeping the bullshit to yourself, right? The difference in the gradient is the difference between everyone knowing and nobody knowing. Same thing with information. The difference, the novelty that business practices in the West have done is that they haven't been doing good business because they're smarter or more talented or whatever that was, is that they figured out a workflow or technology and then gaslighted you that it was something more difficult is art of war and not actual art of anything. It wasn't art. It was art of war. Capitalism is art of war. You know that, right? So that Sun Tzu, 48 Laws of Power. Yeah, that's capitalism. Because niggas ain't fighting in the fucking rice field no more, nigga. You can schedule an ass whooping at the rice field. And guess what? I'm not showing up. And if and I feel froggy, my drone is. That's where you're at. That's where you're at. You want to shoot the fate? Now, nah, fuck that. My drone's going. Guns? Ew. My drone can fly. My, my drone f- fly too fast. And it can ha- and it can carry a watermelon. Hashtag allegedly. Don't you sit outside and get too fucking comfortable, nigga. Because if I drop that watermelon from a three-story building, word to Styles P and Jadakiss. You see what you see what life you actually live in? You live in a life where a nigga can just catch you slipping from a drone, my nigga, and you haven't thought about it yet because no one's really cares. But eventually, someone's gonna break the ice. And then the floodgates move in. The problem you're going to have in terms of producer space or beat making space with this type of stuff ain't, you know, the rappers, the labels. mm -mm. It's going to be the ordinary person without a lick of musical background in terms of the MIDI era. And they're going to come up with more creative whatever concepts that for some reason normies are going to gravitate towards. And then you going to gravitate towards it and be like, oh, this person has never even saved the FLP file. Oh, this person didn't have to learn how to reroute and reason. Oh, this person doesn't even know what a DAW is. This person is being interviewed by academics and a genius and shit. And all this is some fucking Asian person nerd that's just, you know, figured some prompts out 
and, and, and turned it into a small business and, and got a million dollar evaluation, you're like, oh my God. And then all of a sudden you're going to say people care now. Moral of the story, who cares? The money, people who are following the money care, nigga. The money don't stay still. It's current. It's water. It moves. What did Bruce Lee say? Be like water, my friend. Money, attention, energy is all the same power source. The no one cares is there's no more attention in that. There's no more attention there. That's the caring part. Yeah, there's no more intention that the fact that you can make the same song if you booked two weeks in a studio, gave somebody a band practice material and, and sheet music, and you got with the singer and practiced all of these takes and runs, and then you guys just nailed it, and then you paid for the engineer, then you paid for the master, and then you put it out, and even if you did all of that, no one would have cared anyway. But now me and you could pontificate, talk bullshit, and put Drake lyrics into this bitch, and it's done in 15 seconds to a minute. And then you could take that and go, hmm, I'm no longer just making these 15-minute beats that people cared about. I'm able to use my imagination and create art that was unobtainable to me. Y'all not hearing me. This ain't about creating beats no more. This is the whole fucking thing beginning to be born. You take this with that, with the visual, with the storyline, with the chat GPT assisted proofread, and you make a whole entire thing. Nigga, you're not producing for an artist no more anyway. Are you a beat maker? Or are you a producer? These tools are for producers. You don't need none of this shit to make beats. I'm going to talk about it on how we can make some boom bap beats with some jazzy soul samples and shit with some crazy lyrics that never existed on the hook. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who cares about that? No, nostalgia. Who cares about that? Old heads with do-rags. Who cares about that? People who got NPCs. Who cares about that? Lo-fi producers. Is that where the money at? Is that where the money at? Better question, class. Is that ever where the money's been? Because then you got to start looking at the room you've been gaslighted into and be like, wait, I thought there was money in this room. Mm -mm, just white paint. The money's always been in pop, nigga. Pop is popular culture. Popular culture is mainstream. Mainstream is the general consensus. That's where the money at. Y'all know that already, right? Cool. So normies ain't going to care. Normies never cared. So what do you just have to pay attention to? What normies care about? And how do these tools match that? How, does, how do those tools meet them where they're at? Not where you want them to go. You're not a shepherd. Like, you know what I'm saying? We be thinking like we become craft masters and fucking wizards and shit so we can direct people. To some limited degree, you can nudge, but that's not how, that's not how you get success. You don't get success by telling people where to go. You get success by bringing shovels where they are. You get success by opening up that food cart where they are. The lake that they're currently going to, not the nicest, cleanest lake with no catfish at the bottom. You go to the dirty ass lake where there's dead bodies and ghosts every summer in Georgia. That's where you sell the fucking T-shirts in the slushies, nigga. When you do the lemonade stand, you don't put it in the most shaded area, most convenient, uh, open to traffic type of pathway. That's, that's your logic telling you to do it that way. In real life, you find an intersection where there's the most right-handed side of traffic to interrupt or stop, put the flow of energy. The more you're seen, the more you're driven past, the more trust you build, the more trust you build, the more easy it is for you to get a fucking dollar. Consistency through repetition and frequency of energy, attention. Who cares? That, that's who cares. Is, is not who cares, right? We're not trying to replace the who's, nigga. We're trying to figure out, okay, this tool exists. I'm in an art form that's dying based on the limitations that we've reached with the horse. Now that the horse is being replaced with this mechanical automobile, can I go further than my ranch? Can I take my same formula I developed out here in Nevada and copy and paste that shit to Los Angeles now that I can go back and forth every weekend? That's decentralization. Before you was the plug. Now you're one of the plugs. You ain't afraid of a little competition because because uh, bad news for all of you. There's I've met niggas infinitely better than all of us. And no one cared. 
Y'all follow y'all follow internet money for a little while. I ain't forget. I ain't mad at you. But you follow internet money for a little bit. Why? Who cares? Energy, attention, interscope, lyrical lemonade. It's attention. All, all the moths near the light. It's the light, not the process, nigga. This is light, not the process. This, you're right. The process of music production is dead. It's been dead, nigga. They're just now giving us SP-1200 low-pass filters in 2020. I was there. So, we good, man. We good. We 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 just gotta add to our resume of of the fuck shit magic we can do, because if you learn hacks and protocols and shortcuts with the music production, which is really difficult, by the way. So round of applause to you niggas. You can't teach everybody how to do music production. That is bullshit. But you figured it out. Hats off. Do rags off. But now you gotta learn something else with it. You're growing. Now, just put yourself in a vacuum. You have all these skills and awarenesses and tools you have access to that the 85% will never care, never know, don't have the impetus to explore. What you have to worry about right now at this transitional point is that you don't become one of those people arguing with the clouds, talking about how come y'all don't care about the real shit and instead create a new media format or create a new media template or create a new media a new media, you know, rollout because nobody else that you know can do that. You don't understand how sick this is. I'm going to go further for you because I just feel like preaching. Wait till you get to the point, right? Like right now, you have more normies waking up. I pained myself last night listening to a live stream about the eclipse. Like everything after the eclipse. Like this brother, I forgot his name. I'll give him a shout out, but I'll, be, I'll say some slightly disparaging sort of things about their awareness, right? And it was like a Zoom type of thing or some type of app that people use where different people could call in or join the huddle and they show up as different icons on the screen, whatever that app is. And they're doing that and they're streaming it on YouTube. And they're talking about the eclipse and they use all the cool spiritual TikTok Instagram buzzwords. Uh, where was the moon at? Uh, what they trying to do? We're entering revelation, y'all. Y'all got to get ready. That, that shit, the shit you've been, the, you know, the buzzword, uh, Twitter circle slash, uh, clubhouse type of dumb shit. And I just kept listening in case somebody accidentally says something I haven't heard before. Right. I just listen. I peep, but I noticed myself getting frustrated because they're just, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they get it, but they don't get it where we discuss it. Right. And, and to me, that's frustrating because it's like, come on, break through the fucking soil already. Wait till AI and the tools and your production and your media takes all of that for normies and took everything that you've ever been interested in, everything that you've ever learned, anything that you ever thought was important. Now you have all these tools that help you create it in a deliverable in a media format or, or uh, social network. To where you become the source for that and what people become addicted to or care about is your delivery. And that's what we talk about in the battle rap, like, oh, Drake voice wasn't really in it. Like it was just his delivery was off. That made you think it was AI versus Rick Ross, who doesn't have a delivery problem. Know that is how you want to deliver this shit to people is all that matters. Niggas don't give a fuck if the newspaper is made out of plywood or recycled, nigga. All people really care about is that that newspaper is going to be on their doorstep when they wake up on Sunday. Whether that's going to be an app, whether that's going to be an email, or whether that's going to be at their favorite fucking muffin and coffee shop. They want to relive their experience. We'd be forgetting all this media is ancillary to humans customizing their life. Like routines, like a lot of humans need routines. So they need the routine of the newspaper to go with the coffee, to go with the radio, to go with the dog, to go with the wife, to go with the th worries and the thoughts, to go with the let's go to the gym and take a walk at the park. That is what humanity is doing. They're already creating workflows and shortening paths to create the more ideal loop of their life. What we do is just give them a, a, a little, you know, 
a little spritz of something on it to heighten it up, to hype it up, to sweeten the, the smell. We're really not, you know what I'm saying? This ain't that. The music's never been that. Music's always been in the background, customized and curating a big, bigger, broader experience. Maybe the most important one, if we want to get in our bag, but it's just a part of one. This is just a part of one. A part of, oh, shout out to Terrence Howard. This is just a part of one. We got to figure out what the new one is, nigga. That's, that's it. That's it. We good. Shout out to Golden Child. Mr. Now says, what did you mean to talk about on the live the other day in 3 a.m.? I need a keyword. I needed the keyword remembered. <laughs> King Lumel says, that wasn't no moon. No disrespect. You're right about that, buddy. That wasn't the moon. For sale says, now it's called Apple Watch Trap. Come on now. And they want to use your Apple earbuds to monitor your brain waves. Come on, stay woke out here. Because they, they're trying to figure out where your attention is going. V Juggernaut says, AI will give you a second life character, a second life. There you go. Bartronaz is in the building. He said, IMO, if you are a creative, then a new art can be made from this. You could create a whole creative infrastructure with these tools if you have it in you. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been building, we've been brick masons for 20 years now. Like, we've been making brick walls. It's time to do the Taj Mahal, my niggas. Like, all right. Cool. Oh, you, you could do a Metro Boomin type beat? Cool. Oh, so you learn how to pave the, to pave the parking lot, to par the driveway? Oh, all right, now let's go ahead and put this, these bricks on this Taj Mahal then. You know what I'm talking about? You can't just make a dome ceiling. That shit is hard to do if all you've been doing is making brick walls. How do you get the bricks to stay on the curve? That's what this is. This is like the new, the new, the new tool set to help the bricks stay in place above your head, nigga. That's it. That's, that's it. It's time to build this Taj Mahal, baby. Hip hops. Boom. Shout out to DJ J O C K Beats. He says, bro, you preaching this Sunday afternoon. I appreciate you being here, brother. P9DE says, world building. You got it. The narrative builds the world. The tools shades it. So don't think of these things as taking something away from you. That's one polarity you could sit in for sure. It's going to take something from someone, but it's not going to take nothing from you if you learn how to use it. Like, oh, this is foundation shit now. You know what I'm talking about? Like, Copy and paste. Think about when you first got a computer and you learn how to type. You learn how to do copy and paste. You learn how to sign in through MS DOS forward slash whatever, whatever. You don't do that shit no more. That's foundational shit. We we're just building the foundations to an iller system, y'all. Don't 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 get caught up in the fear of it. Whatever. I'm pretty sure this is what Skynet is telling me to say, ain't it? I sound like a goddamn the niggas in the movies. Lord have mercy. But it but I'm not going against it. Don't I don't go against the wave, bro. I miss so many opportunities trying to be, do that shit. William Sharp says, could it be that the, the this perfected technology has been existed and they just sh slow rolling it out? William Sharp, yes. That's why I'm already picking up. They got audio upscale. I'm not just saying that because I'm wishing. I feel it already. Like, you can feel it in the air on some Phil Collins, Beanie Siegel shit. I already think they got upscale audio. I don't think AI technology or sigils are brand new. I don't even think the people slow rolling it out to try to monetize and subscribe it out to get more of your clout coins during a recession. I don't even think I, I think if they could charge you more and give you cooler tools, they would. But the economy doesn't match that motion. So the slow motion is because the economy is slow motion. But in terms of function and theory of the tech behind it, they showed us this shit like, um, was it DeepMind or whatever? Remember, they were showing us. I, I did a video about that, actually, a long time ago, years ago, about how some company, some Silicon Valley, some niggas, they're already working on this where they trained their AI model on all jazz. Like they trained it on so much jazz. Like that's what they were geeked about. This like college, you know. And they said the shit that that shit was kicking back, like coming up with his own jazz standard and all that shit was just sick. Bro, that I did that video years ago, but that was something they were working on years ago before that. So if they already have the jazz master at Yale or Harvard, I mean, and these are the same teams and people that go on and steal that code and their little USB stick and sell it to Google in China. Nigga, no, they've been, they got us. They, they've been at us, dog. So we, go, but it's good though. They slow rolled it out. So obviously they ain't really trying to kill us. You know what I'm talking about? For sale says, you know, it's over when you installed in your Apple watch seamlessly connected to your brain. I, I'm not, I'm not running into the wearable thing. I'm not putting nothing in my body. Pause. David Treasures in the Building, Haru on the Track, I See You. All damn, all the songs I'm rewriting on the whim, it's over. <laughs> can you edit, wait, can you edit the progressions? I don't know yet, but pretty soon we will. Zenith says, now nah, for real, this is a game changer. Context, consistency, you got it. 
You got it. Damien Pacheco, I see you. Billiam, I appreciate you, brother, for being here. I appreciate all my brothers for being here. Rezo says, with UDO, are the owners of these tracks or are they? Um, You don't even understand what I'm saying to you. It don't matter. I don't care who the copyright holder is because no one cares. AI is open source. DistroKid and TuneCorn, all of them, they're shooting themselves in the foot, right? Because most of the songs on SoundCloud and Spotify are samples. In case you haven't, if you, the, all those lo-fi drill rain playlist shit, a lot of them niggas were sampling. They just want to put voice in it. So you want to recognize it, right? I've been pulled the cat out of that bag years ago. I just didn't want to fuck up my VIP upload. You know, that's different. I had my shit on iTunes by tonight and I wasn't going to fuck around and find out, but you, you know, so what you, you create a sample. Like let's, 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 let's walk through the nigga logic about this real quick because I, cause I love these questions. I love them because we've been battling this just without AI. We've been battling this narrative before AI entered the chat. So let's go to sample based music production, clearance samples. Does it matter? Never mattered. So we had a moment in online producer hip hop history where people were talking about clearing loops. You download a loop pack from somebody and they felt the way because the younger producers were getting placements fast. So they'll get loops for free pirated and they'll make a banger and then they get $5,000 producer fee from MC Chinese chain. Right? So the loop makers are like, nah, fuck that. We're not going to call them loops no more. We're going to call them compositions. Why did that change? Why, when you go to drum broker and other people inevitably mirroring that workflow or that business flow, why did it go from loops what they are to compositions? Because the legality of a composition technically different than the legality of a loop, which in precedence, there's nothing but loop packs, loop CDs. I mean, for since the nineties, right? Backstreet Boys is loop CDs. Know that them drums on those old school NSYNC and Backstreet Boys are loop CDs from Florida. Niggas been making beats with loops. So how can you bully somebody on credit for loops if the whole culture is baked in loops, nigga? The products come with loops. So you can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't redefine loops as if you're Marvin Gaye. You don't, you don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't do that. So we're going to make these compositions. Now that they're compositions, I'm a composer. I'm a composer. What does that mean? I'm registered as a writer. Where does that mean? Publishing, nigga. You know, I'm no longer worrying about you buying my loop pack for 20 to $50 because that's how you would get it up front, right? Who cares? People will buy the pack. That's your money. And then you hope you multiply that towards 100 to 1,000 buyers, right? That's a loop pack creator's workflow. These kids was like, they're pirating our loops. It doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, and we're goofy for trying to sell them anyway, right? Stay woke. So we're going to do these compositions, change the arrangement a little bit, fade in, fade out, register them with, um, what was the bullshit that I put everybody on to? And they act like they invented it when I gave them the workflow for this. Ah, uh, the shit. Come on now. I think they got bought out by TuneCore or somebody like that. Uh, the, the red shit, the shit that uh, registers your music for you and it scans YouTube to find it. It gives you a content ID to it, but it was a standalone program that was free from the creator or one of the minds behind something, 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 something. Whatever. Content ID, basically. They So they start putting content ID on compositions. Can't put content ID on loops unless you're universal because they do that shit every time I use a goddamn certain snare. But content ID on compositions to scan for you. Remember, that was the internet money's thing, right? Wait every weekend, see all the new MC shiny chain checks that were coming out. Remember, t- up to 2017, 18, 19, them little niggas was, was, was putting out music for sale every fucking month. Dirk, all of them, all they little homies, 300, like all of them had these loop in these uh, Looper Man and Splice Man and all these beats coming out to Yazoo, nigga. And then all of a sudden, niggas just, it went from nighttime to dark time. They're like, nah. We want our percents on the composition, a.k.a. the loop, because all niggas did was chop up two bars and put it through halftime or gross speed. Remember what happened now. They weren't using the whole composition that was recognizable like the Supremes and the hook stood out and that made people run to the store to buy it. No, nigga. No one's ever heard this shit before. Hashtag composition. What? And the nigga put halftime on it and, and you were sitting there being greedy, trying to get points when they already bought the pack. Then they start putting that shit with Cody and all them bitch ass niggas start putting that shit in the readme file. You remember saying, hey, 
I chopped up this copyrighted sample and put RC20 on it. I also want 30 points if you use this loop of a composition that I don't own the masters to that you still have to clear if your record label artist goes through with it. I just want the publishing. That's the goofiest loop around legality, technicality bullshit I've ever heard in my life, by the way. Good luck with that shit. But in real life, though, in real fucking life, niggas changed the language of the shit, but it didn't change the workflow. It didn't change nothing. It just made these people who were pressed for cash more greedy. And then what happens? Niggas is like, oh, OK, $50 for this pack. And if I do get somebody like TM88 to open up my email collab, I got to split it with him, me, you, her, and she. What we going to do, baby? Like, I ain't got time for that. I'm going to make my own compositions. And what happened? East, West, Melodyne, Halftime, Hi, MG the Future. And then the culture of making loops, hashtag compositions, became more prevalent in the space. So people said, oh, that's where the money is. I'm going to make my own loops and collab for free. So I can get the publishing hustle that I don't quite know about, but that's how it seems to be happening. Everybody started emulating that workflow, started sending loops to everybody. People started collabing on loops. You know how retarded we are, bro? Talking about AI killed us. Niggas was collabing on loops. I'm not saying you shouldn't collab on a loop, but if I'm going to collab with a loop, I'm going to collab with the nigga that plays guitar. I'm going to collab with the nigga that plays piano. I am not sending a fucking minor triad going ding. Ding, 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 ding. I'm not sending that to my mans in them across the fucking ocean to add a fucking triangle to it, Hoss. So we could bust down the composition split we both chasing. AI killed it. Nah, Ill Mind killed that shit. Drum Broker killed that shit. And I'm talking about allegedly how I feel. They killed the spirit of it, right? They killed that shit, nigga. And y'all chasing them and their perceived success is what killed it had shit to do with AI and technology. Let me know if I'm lying. Shout out to Haru and Chukaveli. It was RDM. You got it. Shout out to 365 OTG tapped in. Salute, brother. OG. Shout out to B Juggernauts. Shout out to Robert Brown. Oh, my bad, Rezo. I, I went off the reservation. So back to your question. With Udio, are we the owners of these tracks or are they? It don't matter, bro. Take this shit, bust down the stems, flip it in your own loop and composition, and pray the world will never know. Because it's just too many songs. My nigga, they're generating up to 600 samples a day. Now, I'm putting this video on to 100 people. Busyworks Beats is putting it on to like a 1,000 newbies all over the world. Like, it's going to be all of us times 600 a month per day, per whatever, generating a ridiculous amount of content. You think the Marvin Gaye estate at Udio gave a fuck about our 50,000 streams on goddamn Spotify for the 30 cents they gonna sue us for? You gotta think in terms of that, because back in the day before you had that AI question, how the fuck is Cody gonna know I use his fucking stylistic slow pass filter? I'm about to put halftime on it. How the fuck is Ill Mind going to know whoop, 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 if I bought his pack? Because whoop, 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 I don't put the reverse underwater shit on it. How the fuck Palace and I'm going to know for real that I use their med 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 MIDI and Melody packs on my samples that I'm selling because I don't throw it through easy keys first, nigga. Do they own it? Respect the Rezo, though. I think ownership, process, copyright, and all that stuff is professional, important, and whoop, whoop, whoop. That's exactly what we were taught to be concerned with. So you're not, you know, I'm not calling out the thought or the question. What I'm saying is, when did that matter for us? Because if I right now chopped up stylistics on this stream and made a banger in Rain 910 or one of those Brother 38 special, no more other brothers that be watching me, Ask me for that beat after this stream. Two things are going to happen. Legally, YouTube is going to tell me you can't monetize this tutorial. Fair, fair use my ass. You can't monetize this tutorial because Universal Atlantic, somebody's bitch ass is worrying about the 30 seconds in the stream where you played it too long. But if you played it for five seconds, we wouldn't have caught it. Them niggas. 
So, okay, I got to mute it out my video so the replay gang will never see that. But they'll hear the final anyway, so they'll kind of figure it out. But, okay, I'll I'll remove it. I'll remonetize. Boom. Then I'll go to Rain and 38 Special, whoever, for the, for the lo-fi hip-hop NPC beat that I made. And they rap on it. They got all they homies. They DJ homies. They battle rap niggas. They ain't got to put that shit on Spotify and worry about if TuneCore is going to take it down. They play that shit at the next URL battle, bitch. 2,000 people in attendance, 100,000 people watching the replay. And all they need to convince is that whatever that was, was fucking fire. That shit was fucking fire. They used that goddamn stylistic sample I heard when I was cleaning my living room. That nigga Rain 910, that nigga right there, he was always rapping on some dope ass beats. That's what you're trying to get from people. You're no longer trying to get their $15, $20 for the CD, brother. You're just trying to get them to be aware and conscious that you are a producer. You just need them to be aware and conscious that you produce good content. And I hate that term too, but that's what the fuck it is right now. It's not music no more. It's content. It's not fame no more. It's clicks, likes, and attention. All the same energy qualifier too, right? When you do the algebra on it, it's all the same thing. It's just shifting form. We're changing forms. Just like AI needs a body. It needs a new form. Me and you, we need a new form. Remember I was telling you about the difference between Kimmer, Sumer, and Kemet was the et. The et was the land. So the land is called the land of black shit. And the people called themselves Kemerian. There is no Su, so it's Sumerian. Mer, Morian. It's right there, right? It's all there. It's double check my notes and, and let's see if you don't find out the same thing. The difference was that et. Now put that et on all these other words. We need a new format. We need new land. Oh yeah, I cook, nigga. Three a.m. for real. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. That's that, that's how I make the that's how I make the three sec. What is it? The point zero 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 three second per view per ad, nigga. Et format. Your first format was live at the barbershop. Your next format was at the concert hall or the jazz club. Your next format was on the street corner. Your next format was radio. Your next format was vinyl tape, CD, mini disc, USB stick, MP3, etc. This needs a new form. What does that mean? We're now producing for a new format. That format has not been announced and rolled out yet. Just like in 2004, I'm graduating high school. That's my last year in high school. I bought a SP303 December of 2003, I think, or two or some shit like that. Nah, three, no cap. I damn near bought it for my birthday, $350. I think my dad let me borrow 20 because I only had 330. I went to, uh, it was Mars Music. I think it was Mars Music I bought that from. I bought an SP-303 from Mars Music at the time before it turned to a Sam Ash. And um, I didn't know what the fuck. I had no idea who Jay Dilla was. I had no idea Mad Lib and them was already fucking this shit up in California. I just like, Either I get that stupid ass sampler machine with the little scratch turntable built into it, because that's the same time period. Y'all remember that is the DJ EFX thing, which I really like just to fuck around or or the thing that had these clips and phrases in it at the demo. And when I hit it, my brain said, oh, shit, I can make some shit with that. But I didn't know how to fill it up with cool sounds because I haven't discovered cool sounds yet. That's 2003, my nigga. I barely used that thing. I put the cheer sample through it in lo-fi mode and was like, the kids on the internet going to kill my stupid ass. My gain staging was off. It was fucked up time for me to try to figure out how to use an SP-303 when I got Reason and Fruity Loops already. A lot of people are just coming in at the fucked up time. <laughs> but that same year, I brought it to school. The moral of the story is I took it to school, right? I took it to school to show my DJ friend because there's more. That box is really for DJs. So, so my dude that was in my, um, my advanced, what was that? Yeah. Advanced biology, AP biology, some dumb shit. I brought my SP 303 to class. He was like, oh shit, man, yo. And like, because I did that, he put me on the little brother. It's a white boy. It's a white boy who wanted to be a hip hop DJ. And I showed him the SP 303 in person and his eyes was like, oh my God. He's like, yo, have you ever heard of little brother and knife wonder and all this shit? And I was like. I listen to Nelly, Ludacris, and Jay-Z. What are, we, what are we talking about? What did he do? By the next week or two, because he thought I was in that tribe, he brought an iPod to school. 
I've never seen one of those. We heard about it. We had the commercials and shit, but that's some rich nigga shit. We used to having Walkmans with a rubber band around the CD player, and I'm still burning CDs on a, a jeweled cassette uh, colored uh, blue, red, pink, orange shit from Sam's Club. 50 for like $20 or less or some shit. I forgot the price. It was probably cheaper than that. But you get like 50 of them blanks and shit for like $15 or less, and you could burn any mixtape, CD, album, whatever you want. I wasn't selling them, so I wasn't on it like that, but I made my own covers with the graphics and shit. You know what I'm talking about? I was having fun with it. So when he showed me the iPod in real life and he was playing the little brother shit, whoever, the, you know, whatever he thought hip hop was, I was like, yo, you have all these songs on this shit? Format change. The format changed the minute I bought me a SP-303, which was an icon of the previous format. Wave, turntables, RCA cables, lo-fi. 16 kilohertz or whatever to this shit flack lossless 500 gigabytes what no, it's not important that i get this 10 track beat cd off i gotta make enough beats to fill up my ipod now nigga you know how long it and how many beats that is now think about how long would it take to do that with sp303 now think about doing that shit with fruity loops now think about doing this shit with the whole fucking Spotify database tapped into Udio and fucking Sora. We out of here. Game over. It's a format change. So once NVIDIA or AMD figures out how to shrink the technology to give you a new format to receive high, uh, high frequency, not high, yeah, high frequency technically, but high, uh, what's that called? high density information bits data like the format's going to change and when the format changes then so will the delivery just like you don't go to fye right now to buy the single of the drake rick ross j cole and kendrick versus you didn't spend 70 80 dollars this weekend at fye or sam goody to be able to hear listen to and report your hot takes on these disses you typed in something that, or you followed somebody and you just hit play, nigga. I wasn't thinking about that shit in 2023. I was still waiting for DJs in New York to share Ether on Soul Seek the night it dropped. I was waiting for the people that I was following to add that .mp3 to their folder on that FTP. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Ah, there it is. Ah, download. Oh shit, there's a thousand people downloading it. Five kilobits per second. It's just a format change. That's all. We all right, man. We all right. We all right. We all right. It's 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 over for that. This ain't that though. So you know that, right? Yeah, it is over. Classically, nostalgically, embrace it, share it, make those the building blocks we build the new shit off of. Like that's what you're really wilding out for and voting for anyway. Like, what was the cool shit? What was the real shit? This is the shit we want to influence the new shit. But you are the curator for new shit. Don't forget who you are. If you're watching this video to learn the technology, how to use it, and how to turn that into a hip hop beat, you're not a fan, nigga. You're a producer. Let me say this more clearly. You're not a consumer. So do not make the mistake of thinking like a consumer when you walk into this new world. That's how we all fell behind the last 10 to 20 years. We're approaching it with a good heart, meritocracy, consumer rules, how you were programmed rules. I'm telling you as a person who's been through it, who should have a mansion right now somewhere. If a nigga with a neck like Taz Taylor could have a mansion, I should have a mansion too. Because I've been putting work longer than he's been alive. But I didn't follow those rules. I followed consumer, noble, keep it 100, you know, integrity. But that's not what the business is. So know that. So if you if you, for this for this generation for this timeline for this jump, you just have to slightly adjust your advantage of how you're looking at it. Yes, as a consumer, this shit sucks and whoop and oh man, what happened to my favorite rappers? Oh my god, these battle raps. What is it? What happened to my beats? What happened to the 808? Ah oh, man, niggas don't play. All that's true. Let that chatter continue somewhere else. Go to the old head club. <laughs> the the new niggas is gonna start sounding like old heads worse than we. Go take your old ass, 25-year-old ass to wherever you meet up where the bitch is at 
if y'all do that anymore because we got other we got bigger fish to fry. Fuck the AI making beats. Who's you gonna wait for AI to fuck your bitch? Y'all ain't hearing me, but that's not that. That's not that. So wherever wherever you want to talk about the good old days as consumers of Soldier Boy derived music, do that. That's gonna make good content for podcasts. Good jokes, good humor, good logical workflows and debate strategies will be born out of that conversation. But when you're done crying, oh, my coochie hurts. No one's going to care that I learned how to play eight bars. No shit. No, they never did, nigga. You're not Alicia Keys. She a light-skinned girl that looked like Michael Jackson that sing. Ain't because she played piano. Alone. Thus, 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 thus. Stop worrying about what it could have been. This ain't a fucking, uh, this ain't H-E-R and Bryson Tiller. We could have been what we fall, could pretend, and now, and again. Well, what about my midi that I, uh, nigga, what? Let me know when I start lying. Isn't it amazing? We talk so much ish, but still that communication. Oh, how beautiful the kids gonna be, girl. Y'all know what that lyric is, right? Y'all saw how smooth this shit enunciated that the I'm not talking about the AI voice. I'm talking about the the flow, the pocket. Like, um, I think Drake go. Girl, isn't it amazing? We talk so much shit, but we still lack communication. How beautiful our kids gonna be, girl. I don't need convincing. Like, that's a hard pocket to follow, right? But this nigga made a new pocket for all of those syllables, and it was smooth. I, I, can't, I can't say it smoothly knowing the damn words to that goddamn song. This bitch done said it smoother than me and Drake. How, nigga? What demon is this? Those, those are the real questions. Yeah. They're about, to, they're about to hit us with the I want to sex you up melody. Ooh, you know what I'm talking about? How they know how to do that? And that shit came from Strawberry Letter 23, right? Come on. You see how my jukebox in my mind is? That's crazy. AI just got a faster one. That's it. That wasn't the only one. That wasn't the only one. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, it butchers some of that shit, but some of that shit in terms of a vocal chop or beat chop. Oh, nigga, we out of here. You hear what I'm saying? We the fuck out of here. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. That that Tony Braxton as Korg M1 as guitar though. Where the fuck these niggas get their presets from? You can't you can't machine model that shit, nigga. Don't lie to me. You ain't nah, nigga. They model the goddamn unbreak my heart as prequel guitar, nigga. They gave what? You want to talk about stars? Hold on. I got lyrics. Let me just get some lyrics to go, nigga. And notice, like, these are only 30-second clips, so you don't put the whole three verses in a damn thing, okay? Keep it simple. Keep it simple, Toots. We're talking about making beats with hooks. 
Um, hold on. What is? I said ludicrous, right? Ludicrous lyrics use a hoe. I just want to see if it'll curse for me too. You gotta know if you could do that. You want to keep that same bop. I'm just replacing lyrics. The fuck did that go? My stupid ass. Why are you auto-correcting where the fuck I am, bro? I hate that shit. All right. Don't fucking move. I'm curious. I'm curious. You know what I'm talking about? Bring that shit back. Bring it back. Sing it back. I'm curious. fucking ridiculous what what in the what in the uh jennifer hudson fantasia 2010 trying to do a third sophomore album bullshit was that when the corset michelle what the fuck is going on yo you just changed the fucking words I, i'm trying to do it so you can change the words but keep everything i, I is that possible i don't know i'm, I'm gonna stick to the script i'm gonna stick to the new ideas i have too many ideas I have too many ideas. That's the fucking problem. It's just now you have too many ideas. Beat black wet, nigga. That's okay. You doing? We got to We got to do it like like back in the day. How Ludacris had to do it. You doing pro activities with pro tendencies? Pros are your friends. Pros are your enemies. With pro energy to do what you do.
pro energy to do what you do. I'm going to do blue in case it thinks I'm being x-rated, which I am, nigga. The blue witch your blue, screw witch your screw. Pro. You were pro. You're pro. I said that you's a pro. That's all I need. That's all I need. And let's keep the variance the goddamn same, bitch. Stop playing with me. No, you know what the hell I want. You know, AI be doing that with the images too. You know, you know, you 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 know what that you know what she looked like. Don't be giving me this foot face looking person. Hmm. Talk that talk, MG. Shout out to Jacquees Ali. Shout out to three sixty five OTG. He said, "Perfect example. Back in the day, we would rip the song from the radio. Then I would burn it to a CD and supply the work. Yesterday was the first time we could rip it in real time and return it right back. Talk that talk, bro. Talk that talk. Shout out to you. Yeah, you. That's right. The turnaround time is quicker. So the rate per product goes down, but the upside is that because." You save time getting work out. You can get more work out to more people. So it becomes multiplicative. This is just a continuation of the golden ratio. One plus one is two. Two plus one is three. You're building on. You know what I'm talking about? We're following the golden ratio. Either it's a spiral circ, uh, st- either it's a spiral staircase to heaven, or it's a dr- or it's a drain. But what polarity you pick is determines which direction it goes. That's it. Art travel for life says Project Blowed is the code. What is that? What is that? Our travels like Project Blow is the code. What is that? What's that? What's that? Tell me more. Tell me more. Jacquees Ali says, "I become. I re- damn. I remember Mars music. I love that place. It was a good place." Kim Will says, "Let's go survival mode." For sale said Gotham's greed. You got it. The mouse sharing type beats. You talking that talk right now? Bartronai says, "Man, they were putting content ID on Native Instruments packs. It was crazy. I was there. We was there. We was all there for real." P P nine said. L- L- LMAO become gods uh, the best that we can for real ill noises in the building rest in peace Sam Ash they're closing the one by me damn we just went we just went through mastery exactly we got our degrees now all that learning that the purists wanted us to do on piano we just did on computers now we can do concerts nigga that's it um the Yamaha DGX was a sleeper piece yeah that joint shout to CDR gang uh-huh uh-huh uh huh. We got everybody in the chat. Jordan, I see you. Haru, Ill Noise, El Kuji says the producer mind equals pirate rules. Take it with yours. Yeah, you got to find new islands, new land, new ets, new planets, new formats. G- B Jagnai says MG, you are not H E R and you're not him, but without a doubt, you are your goddamn self. I appreciate you, brother. Stem them vocals for so it's funny. Will it do Barry White? We can find out. I could put in LSG, Barry White. I could, I could put in the prompts for it. It doesn't like it when I ask for Miles Davis vibes. Exactly. So you got to you gotta work around it. You got to work around that. We don't control the voices or stems yet. Know that. But that's that Sora level. When we get the Sora level of this, we out of here. I'm guessing some artists are off limits. Yeah, Prestige. N said, it will cuss. Remix doesn't work. Refresh your page to reset it. Wait, what? You said remix don't work? I just did a remix. Wait, 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 wait. How did I do it then? I just did swinging on remix, right? I did swinging, right? I did swinging. I know I did swinging, right? I know I did swinging. Hold on. You said it don't work. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's cap. Hold on, hold on. Swing in soliloquies. I put the I put the Drake lyrics right there off the remix off that previous one, and it gave me my lyrics. And I thought I did the same routine on this one. We about to find out. Facade of love. Ah, oh, there it is. Why won't? Why? Don't start new lyrics on the remix. Thank you, and said, "What I gotta do? What I gotta do? Tell me what to do. I forgot how I did that. Hold on, I forgot how I did that." I forgot how I did that. I thought I did. Wait, 
You said refresh it. Uh huh. I can extend it. Mm-mm. It won't let you edit it. Now nah, remix is how I did it. Remix is exactly how I do it. Hold on. Okay, no, no, I got you on how to start a new prompt, brother. Hold on. How do I put the lyrics in the prompt? Maybe that's the goofy shit I'm on. Got you. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I see what you're saying now. It, it, what he's saying is when you when you want to make it sing your words, don't edit a previous style. Just start a new style and give it the lyric prompt at the beginning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I didn't do that last time. Know that. It did it. It did the fuck. It did what the fuck I thought it could do, and it stopped. Which is fucking weird that it didn't change until you said it can't do that. But I literally just did that. What the fuck's up with this thing? Give me, give me the real version, bitch. Stop giving me this. What do you want to play? All right, so ludicrous whole lyrics. All right. Thank you, good sir. I'll use that for now on. So what happens? So once you so once you tell it to prompt out with brand new lyrics or whatever, and then you do the same thing like you did if you're just doing random, what is remix for? What is remix intended for? I think that's probably a good question. B Dragon I says to do Kanye stuff, you probably have to use albums or song names. We could do we, we, shit. What you talking about? I ain't I, not me. The hell? Mm-mm, I ain't got to do I, man. We, we this whatever is giving me, we could use. I just got to get out of the new Jack Swing instrumental side of it because those drums and that reverb is particular. But I'm gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're, I'm, I'm gonna chop something in a second. I'm just having fun right now. Hold on. <laughs> Mr. Now says you could try bridge style prompt, which is right. It's right there. So you can do the Kanye move and sample a bridge as the hook. You're so smart. You're so smart. Nigga, what? Do you know what year this is, nigga? This is Christmas on April, nigga. Tell me this is an April Fool's extended joke. Like, they got some Indian companies that got fired by the Amazon stores to make these songs in a studio on Fiverr as soon as I typed them, nigga. They gave me a Tricky Stewart ass beat with Rich Harrison go-go drums from the DMV, and they gave me the intonations of Beyonce, Tiana Marie, and whoever the fuck, and I didn't tell them to do that. You just acapella that bitch and put her in your beat. 
I'm, you know, I could polo the Don some shit. I ain't, you know, I ain't no stranger to this game, nigga. I, I just, just the fact that that's the, that's the song, bro. Like, you get your homegirl to sing it if you want her to. You got the, the pocket and the cadence is all that matters when songwriting for real. It gave you the pocket, the cadence, the bop, and everything. And you could just, your brain could just, you know, some Rain Man shit, Johnny Mnemonic shit, and just do it, do it again, nigga. And if you don't feel like doing that, just put it in Fruity Loops, separate the acapella, put a new beat on it at that tempo, tap the tempo, find the key of her voice, and just make a new song, nigga. You hear what I'm talking about? I don't want your rappers, your friends, and your rappers. Well, I ain't got no hook. I don't know. Oh my God, the song be hot, but my hooks, man. My hooks. Oh my God. Oh my, my hooks, nigga. Unlimited hooks is all I'm talking about. Some old out of tune Desi shout. Well, come on now. Celebrate the victory, dog. Don't, don't, don't ruin it for us, Mr. Perfect Pitch. Do the heavy load. It's a play button. Let's extend it. We haven't used that feature yet. So I want to add a section. I want to add an intro before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, you can only do one at a time. One, one per render. Does it keep the vocal integrity and everything intact when you add a section? I think by default that should be a yes, right? So, oh, peep game, nigga logic. When you're doing this shit and you're being cute and clamorous and you find a theme that you like, like a voice and an instrumental or whatever which you're trying to use from it, and but you wanted to say something else like bro was saying, uh, where's his name at? He disappeared from the chat real quick. But with the brother, what was his name? No disrespect. What was his name? The brother was pointing, Inset. His name is Inset Saeed or Inside. He was saying, um, just start a new prompt. Woo, woo, woo. But if you do, re not remix, if you do extend, if it's going to give you lyrics right here, you can get it to type, so you can get it to sing something else without starting a new prompt. And it'll be the same everything, I think. I'm going to try that real quick. I want to add a, we'll add an intro first. Let's let's just see if I'm correct. Let's just see if my childlike imagination is onto something with this because it's giving us two of each. You only gave me six hundred credits. I'm gonna need six thousand, dog, because I'm not. My ASR ten is right there. Like the dumb shit, I'm gonna have the hook saying it's gonna be ridiculous. Uh, the, the the Joe Biden diss track is coming. The whole hook, we're just dissing these niggas. I don't even know if it's singing different languages yet. Y'all want to be bad bunny and reggaeton so bad. Stay woke, niggas. You want an international demographic on your TikTok? Here you go. Don't make me put some Selena lyrics in here. Don't make me translate bad bunny lyrics to English. Don't make me. I know what to do. Know that. Y'all know what to do with this. Haru says, nah, ain't no way. Jacqui says, right. William the Seventh says, sound like Bay got another sister. B Juggernauts was like, Destiny vibes right off crazy. That's crazy. David Treasure says, that's nuts. Jay Manadu's in the building. Still tripping. Haru. George Desiree, I see you. Jay God, I see you. Mr. Mac 24 says, yo, this is crazy. Uh, P P9 says, yo, keep that prompt. Uh, B Juggernauts says, you're going to have a real artist ask him to do features on your Udio made tracks. That's hilarious. Like the cop in the Minister Society. You know, you know, you don't fucked up, don't you? Exactly. We're, we're, sisters Blues and Sisters Tears. Destiny's Sisters. I get it. They changed the song, bitch. To all my sisters all over the world who tired of dealing with these boys called pros, this one for you. <laughs> That's crazy. It kept it kept her voice. That's all I needed to know. To all my sisters all over the world, who tired of dealing with these boys called pros? This one for you. 
She fucked that up. So that first one. But the rest is fine. Okay, okay. Oh, that's a different intro. I heard that flute. That bass though. Easy. Mm. That pocket though. That's it, that's it. That was the one, so we got the intro, right? To all my sisters, all I'm just gonna put the, the telephone world. filter on it. You know that. Who tired of dealing with these boys called pros? This one for you. Dark child, who's that? Uh, <laughs> new era, who this? You got y- y'all gotta make a new Rushmore. This song is too long to remix. He was a devil's a liar. I was about to say. P9 says, not the Trump voice, Swiss beat Biden this. Yes, please. <laughs> Fate B says, peace, fam. Shout to you, brother. J Diggity says, Spotify had to sell access to their song database. Yet another money stream for them they didn't share. Let's talk about it. B Juggernaut says, new Mount Rushmore piece. You got Kanye, Dilla, Timberland, Udio. I, I, you hate to see it. Don't mind me, y'all. Y'all go ahead and use your 600 renders and type in whatever lyrics you want. I'm just telling you the songs we could never make that we can make now on a hip hop tip, on a, some boom bap shit. I'm about to do it. I'm going to let this finish just to see if it did my idea correctly. And then I'm going to try to go back into the soul degree of it and download some like, I don't know, some shockingly prescient soulful lyrics on a soulful Philly soul orchestra as Philly soul, soul, soul. We're Litzer, Hammond, Rhodes. I, I wish I've read all the vinyl as a kid so I know what instruments I'm supposed to put in those type of beats so we could put it in this type of beat for real. You know, it's like, we could probably get away with a jazz ballad. Well, we got some Tom Brock. Just Blaze, what do you think, Justin? Shit crazy, nigga. You get your real friends to play it all over. That's the whole point. You just saved yourself hours of inspiration by by having a demo reference before you begin creating is nuts. It's so much easier to color when you already trace the dark lines, nigga. That shit nuts. Can you add your own tracks on there? Moderation error. What the fuck is a moderation error, nigga? You are already working on it. Don't do that. What does this mean? Oh my god. Why? Yeah. I just want to see it. Ain't no mistake you got that boo, yeah. On my furry friend today. Boy, watch where the coffee flies. Don't be so careless, y'all. I'm saying, boy, watch where 
guess we need some kind of introduction. Oh, yeah. All right. Here, one, two, three. Hit it. Because life, because you know there's a GPT for this somewhere. I know there's a GPT for this. I know there's a GPT for this. We ain't got to go through all that. Hope did that. Hopefully, you ain't got to go through that.
I'm going to try. I want to see if it'll do it. And said, what is a moderation error, bro? What is, what is that? Because I'm tired of y'all killing me. I get great ideas and now I want to kill me. Now I want to slay. He wants to play games. What's the issue, bro? Tell me. Why won't you let me click that? Stop playing with me. What the fuck? It's that bullshit. Once you get the popping, bro, all of a sudden, technology, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, AI know what a Mercury retrograde is. Now, we're going to get through this goofy ass shit, bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Got me fucked up. All right, one more time. Jay Manadu says they have a Michael Jackson pound town. How? How are they picking their voices? Or did they trick? In Saeed, how do they do that? How do they get Michael Jackson's voice? What is this? What What do you mean error generating track? What is the error in? Why are you erroring this out? Why do I have such a beautiful idea? And your Mark ass is trying to, all of a sudden, you don't like, because I'm writing my own AI songs? Don't do that. Don't do that. This is a perfect idea. Don't fucking AI. Don't you fucking play with me. But like I said, once we get the NVIDIA chips where we don't have to worry about their regulations, because the pirates are always going to win. And you ain't got to wait as long. Oh, this is going to be fire, boss. Mr. Now says too many prompts. Nah, I think Drake and Interscope and all them niggas just got a monopoly on similarities to those type of the A-list artists. If I'd have got some lyrics from like an underground rapper, I bet you would have sang all that shit. Beat Juggernaut says, yes, so Avery. So Avery originally asks, so wait, I could drop a piece of audio and chat GPT, get a detailed description and use that description in UDO to get unlimited loops and examples? Yes. Exactly that. P9DE says, bro, they've been using this for ads. They had to have been, right? Because that's the most smartest market to demo it on. Like, does this have a use case for commercial <laughs> and they said yes thank you thank you fucking spotify and paramount for doing that but now we get to do it you feel what i'm saying 
But yeah, how do you get the Michael Jackson voice to sing your lyrics? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Unless they have the Michael Jackson prompt formula to get a similar Michael Jackson voice without saying Michael Jackson. That's what I'm trying to figure out. How do you trick it to use Fife Dog's voice to rap for you? Again, like, it's pissing me off for real. They, they playing too much. Leave it to MG to make AI trap out, tap out. This just proves the fact that AI can't keep up with MG. That's hilarious. Shout out to you for sale. Shout out to Beat Juggernaut. Are you finished? You said less than a minute, two minutes ago. God damn you. Suburban Twilight. The fuck? That is not what I said. I gave you lyrics. Why won't it take my lyrics? I watched that morning rain come down. I'm going to break inside these rules. I'm going to hit remix and see what happens. Does it not like the N-word? It lets you curse but not say nigger, right? Is that what they're going to tell me is nigger? I'm fucking the game up by saying nigger. Oh, my God. Can we, can, can us American Indians have anything to use against us? God damn. Oh, my God. God. Oh, no problem when it's used against us. God damn it. Stop playing with me. I watched that morning rain come down. Oh, my girl, she's left this town. If I'm feeling sorrow that one day came, I'll take my soul. The twilight whispers through the suburbs. Shine gold now feel so cold. Many hearts that weep in the silence so deep when it comes to dreams. It's too that's too boring. That's not the shit I sampled. We need shit. We need to find some. We need to find some secret deep. We need to find a super duper secret prompts to give you the, the sample samples. I keep forgetting we got a thousand prompts. I ain't running out of shit. I ain't running out of shit to fuck around. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chat, not damn nigga. Um, I'm going to take their prompt as is and see what it does. Because fuck all that shit. You said AI is ESG leaning. So is that CS? What is that? DEI, ESG, CSR shit? No, no, no worries. Frenemies Lament? Come on, that's the one I need, Ock. Stop playing with me. Takes many prompts to straight singers. Wow. We going to find out that Michael Jackson one. You know that, right? I got frenemies. <laughs> got a lot of frenemies. <laughs> at the old class, you remember like all the things you like, oh. You know we used to sing at the song of oh, no. That's why that's on the skinnies. <laughs> mm. 
I got frenemies, got a lot of frenemies, got a lot of people trying to take me up my energy. They trying to take the wave when messing with the kid and pray for your ninja. Mm -hmm. I tell us man how the little change Oh, you can die to me I guess me so It's my feet in a blood stream Oh, it's a loud But I know that to me The fairs are right A melody, sweet serenade Drifting through my mind Like a parade Your touch brings back the sunshine Brings back the sun In your arms I'm lost in time So lost in time Can't you see? Can't you see? Your, your love is like a melody Y'all niggas have no idea what this is. Oh. No, nigga. Dang it. I don't know. I'm not that advanced yet. I got frenemies. <laughs> got a lot of frenemies. <laughs> and the whole crash, I'm like, what a dream. She's like, oh. I'm about to show you, OG. You know, we used to sing at the song. Oh, no. I'm about to show you, OTG. Just give me a second to get enough music, and then we'll we'll chop it up. I'll show you that part. <laughs> That's why that's on my skin. I got frenemies, got a lot of frenemies, got a lot of people trying to take me up my energy. They trying to take the wave when messing with the kid and pray for your ninja. Then back to the good job again and tell her we need both. Just talking like they from keep me but oh they think on fool Got a lot of people trying to take me up my energy They trying to take the wave when messing with the kid and pray for your ninja But just talking like they from keep me but oh they think on fool Callings in my newest place and even let you like and that's the What the fuck? That 
that's just telling it to add an instrumental to it. And I even get to the to the hold on, hold on. Don't even get me started, nigga. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know which one. Hold on. Extend that one more game. That was the Mellotron Heartache. Both of those came out fire. I can't go wrong with either one of those. Your love is like a melody. Ooh. It didn't change it. No cap. I didn't I didn't change it. I added to it so I didn't have to go through that dumb shit. I just don't even know anymore, dog. This ain't that. This ain't that. I got friend of me. <laughs> got a lot of friend of me. <laughs> Sometimes like Mo and Brenna go, make money shot the hot. Okay. And I'm for sale kind of cheese. You notice he's doing that thing that the AI is hallucinating melody for you. Like he's not saying anything because I told it no words instrumental, but the AI still wants to put his voice to, you know, ride out on the outro. But he's not saying nothing. He's talking Somalian. You know what I'm talking about? That's fucking crazy. Because then you hear it and then you substitute it like AI with actual words and you're done, niggas. I got friends. I ain't worrying about y'all niggas. Hold on.
got frenemies. <laughs> That's the one that yo, my nigga, like, <laughs> yo, yo, my nigga, like my nigga, do y'all know what I'm doing right now? First of all, first of all, I'm building the craziest sample for my Drake remix. You know that, right? I took Drake. Remember, nigga, we two clicks away from Drake already. So, 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 so walk with me. I already got my custom Drake acapella. Flippy, drop and give me flippy, ay. Niggas really got me out here talking like I'm flippy, ay. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. I might take your latest girl a cuff like I'm Ricky. Now, I'm a couple of impulse responses away from trying to clean that up, whatever. Imagining we had a better quality rap battle, right? But whatever. But based on the theme of what he's talking about, this is him going at Meek Mill energy. Got a lot of energy, right? You know, shout to Daylight, right? And, 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 and I just took his words from energy and I made a new soulful sample for him. Right, 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 right. Because his remix is 91 beats per minute because Metro and all of them is trying to do the Florida, Memphis, Atlanta thing. Right, 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 right. But the perfect thing about 90 beats per minute is that's where I grew up at 88. All I got to do theoretically here, sir, is make the perfect hook intro or outro sample to talk to these niggas before Drake come in to chop the words or not, or to chop the melodies, which is why I added an instrumental outro and an instrumental intro. Cause that is your sample loop, right? Whoop, whoop, hashtag chops. Even the music behind the vocals. Cause we have hashtag stem separation, all that shit. Serato be damned. You could do right now. Every time brother, I wish my MIDI controller was hooked up. I have no idea where the fuck my Akai Mini is in one of these boxes, but I don't even have nowhere to put it to use Serato right now, and my feelings are hurt. But I'm going to attempt to go there with the fuck shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not done with the fuck shit, because this one's my favorite, and I'm just adding shit to it to give it more music to fuck with. Hold on. Which one I download? I downloaded Bittersweet Reverie. One of them. There's like 18 of these bitches. I think I downloaded this one. Another one I'm just extending, 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 right? So instead of remixing it and changing the verse, I let the AI come up with his own melody and words, and I'm adding sections to the song with my words. You just needed to generate the template, my nigga. Extend is our friend. Extend is how you make the sample. I get it. So if you could find that Michael Jackson joint and extend it, add lyrics. Now you have Michael Jackson saying, you know what I'm talking about? We ain't going to spoil it for everybody. And if you hate the whatever, make the acapella nigga and play your own instruments around it. Frank Duke, stop playing with me. I ain't playing with y'all niggas. Nah, fuck this. Watch. <laughs> Song cry, nigga. Tina Marie, nigga. That's the intro. Brother, I cannot even begin to create because now I'm just stuck in perfecting the sample, nigga. And just for me to butcher this shit, it's not like I'm going to play that behind Drake. I'm I'm thinking like as a kid, 
I'm waiting for the part where I can sample it. Oh, shut the fuck up, drums. Like, I'm waiting. And each time you wait and you can keep adding. The brother OTG said, yo, you can make it a minute and 30. Nah, my nigga, you can make it a full three minute and four minute song just by adding each section one at a time. So you can add an intro, you can add an outro, you can add a verse, you can add a bridge, you can add a hook. You can keep adding. And if you know how to prompt the lyrics in the lyric prompting, you can also make those designations. So the music change, the voice can change, the intonation of the voice can go to talking. You can control all of that as you study the prompts it comes up with over time and you copy and paste and replace. It's copy, paste, and replace and, and over time, like over as you get nice with it. But you got to f- make sure this shit can make the music right. Fuck the words. Like, it's doing the music right finally, just in those bags, just in those crates. And then we'll unlock some other crates, I'm sure. Jesus Christ. You got psych, prog rock, all that shit. Russian, Linkin Park, nigga. You ain't even, we ain't even begin, we ain't even begin to go there. But. Let me see if I can do something with this. I, I I didn't give me what I wanted though. It didn't give me the music that I wanted. I should say. That just that shit just too cold, brother. That shit just too cold. AI ain't got no soul. Mm-hmm. This ain't even Sora, nigga. This ain't even Sora yet. This ain't even Sora yet talking about AI can't. Y'all said AI can't do what, nigga? I, I done told y'all the British is coming. Pause for a year now or more, maybe. The British are here, my nigga. The, the British are here, bro. And they started brushing their teeth. Stay woke, nigga. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. How do I do this, Dwayne? Come on, bro. You know how to do this shit for real. How do I do this on a MIDI controller? That's the ass part. I'm asking stupid questions. I know how to do everything. Let me see something. I can do it the hard way too, pause, but. Why are you freezing? Don't, don't freeze when a nigga trying to prosper, dog. Don't you save nothing. Don't you add nothing, bro. Always trying to freeze when a brother trying to prosper, bro. Don't, don't fuck your beta shit, nigga. I don't even need the Drake acapella yet. Let me make the beat first. The 66 beats per minute, all that hot, funny shit. Let me, let me just make the beat first. And I could worry about Drake's part later. That's the smart thing to do. Cause I can make soul beats all fucking, that's my childhood, nigga. This, this, this is my childhood unlocked. Instead of me being on soul seek all day, trying to steal the crates. I just need to fucking get, get, make the damn sample. Hold on. What is 66 or whatever? We'll do 66. Fuck them. Fuck them, bro. I don't want to hear shit. Niggas ain't. They tell them to shut the hell up talking to me. We done now. We don't want to talk no more. Where's that down, B, bitch? You playing with me? There she go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Move it up.
COS. There she go. I ain't forget where I came from. I know what year this is, niggas. Watch. Watch. Watch me whip and watch me nay nay for real, bro. Like, nah, niggas. This ain't, this ain't that. This, whatever you thought this was going to kill, this ain't that. This is some other shit. Nigga, this is, this is witchcraft, bro. This is like where my grandma and them stay, nigga. Like, this is, this is the dark arts for real. They always give music the lesser, too. They don't even give us the hot shit. This ain't even the hot shit for us. Wait until we get Sora, Sora Suno, Sora Suna AI, whatever the fuck. Wait, it ain't there yet. Watch when they start upscaling your audio. You ain't got to go through all this. It's going to be retarded. Give me my shit, bro. I'm not even going to do a really hard beat where I have to chop, 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 because I can't. I ain't going to hold you. Your love is like a melody. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah, niggas, I was outside back then. Think about what the hell's going on right now. Think about what the fuck is going on right now, nigga. We're here, dog. We are at a place that, that was impossible when we started. We're at a place in life, my nigga. Fuck the music. Fuck your fame. Fuck your platinum records, my nigga. I'm talking about as a human race, civilization, hip hop ass niggas. We're at a place in life, Star Trek, nigga, where we're in fucking Star Trek and niggas ain't geeked on it. And that's weird to me. A fair Simple, uh, Mr. Now, keep it simple. Bro. 
There, I ain't there yet. Hold on. That damn cutoff is pissing me. Swing, bitch. There she go. There she go. And I need to repeat that and then change up the end. Ah, stupid as hell, boy.
you gotta do the baseline. Good luck to me because that shit's not in key no more. Yeah, the fuck right. Save niggas. What is this shit called? I don't even know what she called. What's this AI called? I forgot. I don't give a fuck. What is it called? What is that AI called? Suno, not Suno, not Suno Melody Bap, nigga. Whatever, I just need to save it. Oh, Lord. Give me my baseline. Stop talking to me. Don't even talk to me. I want my baseline with a sub on it. I want my McChicken with extra lettuce and tomato on it, nigga. Hold on. Yeah. It ain't gotta be hard, niggas. Yeah, just give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. You stupid bitch. What is that for? What the fuck is that for? Why did that open a preset, nigga? I'm here with it. The fuck? Anyway. Give me goddamn. Stop. Don't play with me. I was about to say. All right. All right. I, I ain't gotta reinvent the goddamn wheel, nigga. Give me, give me my goddamn sub base. Where's my drums at? Stop playing with me. Where's my three oscillators at, dog? Give me my three oscillators. Give me my goddamn MIDI out placeholder. We going back to 2010 on these hoes. We got to go back. Brother, that is not what I selected. Stop fucking playing with me. Stop playing with me. All right. One, one thing at a time, bitch. Give me this. I'm tracing it. I ain't playing with these niggas. Just my sub bass, you feel me? And then on my three oscillator, we know we need an ill ass Moog filter on it, but we got all three oscillators set to sign all the way up, nigga. And we just gotta follow the bop of that drum. You hear that? You hear that? We're here now. We're here now. All right, now I gotta, without my damn hands, I gotta figure out what that pocket is. Shit, that shit gotta go higher. Wait, what key is this bass on? That's half the goddamn battle. I, I could figure it out if I knew what nope this was. Damn, Melodyne told me C major. I was like, mm-mm, nigga, that's a lie. Hold on. There shouldn't be no flats if it's C major. Is it C major? Am I smoking mids? What's going on? Hold on. I'm actually completely sober right now. That's half the damn problem. If I wasn't. Y'all niggas would never hear from me again. Hold on. Is it a C major? Don't fucking lie to me. You better be. Hold on.
Damn, I need a damn desk already. This is my fault. That's all my fault. That's all my fault. Hold on. Okay, okay. I guess I'll take this one. All right, so we need to run that. Run it. We need to run that into this kind of thing. All right, that's the intro for real. I don't think I need to split it. Pause. Split it, trip it, rub it down. No, no. Whatever Bell Biv was talking about. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Jack, I know you're going to feel this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, uh, don't wear the other extra shit coming from. Shut your ass up. Shut your ass up. Pissing me off. Come on. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. 
Shout out to the chat real quick. What's going on? Y'all asking if that sample is AIMG? Yes. AI completely made it up. But that's not the best part, um, DT, is that it singing what I told it to sing. We're not ready yet, right? Like, I ain't even at the best part of the story yet. I'm just making sure I could have did that. And I did that. Now we're about to do that. Do that. We're about to do that is what's about to happen here. Just know that. Just know we're about to do it. It's about to be uglier than Freeway's beard in a second. Just give me a second to get my berries together. <laughs> I think is I think it's that it's, it's the time stretch. The AI is doing this shit without VPN matching. Know that. Know that this is probably a job for Ableton Live until you repitch the shit. Hold on. It's an Ableton Live ass world. I get it. I get it. But I needed to resample without I needed to resample without changing the pitch. Don't fucking play with me, bitch. 
All right, because it's off. It's off. It's off. Off. Time signature is a bitch. Hold on. You're not. Your snare ain't snaring, bro. Your snare ain't where my snare is. What I miss? I miss something. I miss something there. I don't know what drugs I'm smoking. Something's wrong. It's not lining up, like even the first part. Where am I missing this? Why does none of them look right? Hold on. Oh, the baseline fucked my head up. Pause. That is too far over. I need to bring it in. Pause. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. I need to bring that shit in. Oh, oh, okay, oh, oh, oh. All right, hold on, hold on. Don't know how that's going. That's weird. I don't know what that pocket is. It's pissing me off, though. It's not pitching. It's just here to torture me for real. Pissy. Hold on. Time stretch be damned. What the fuck? All right, white Jesus, I'll try it your way. I heard that in my head. Mm -hmm. Give me the exact quadrant, bitch. Zero crossings, please. The fuck?
That's the part that's gonna be hard. I can't, I need this to do it right. I need a, another strong beat, bitch. They're trying to take the way from a player. Enough. This feel like goddamn cool at pro days, bitch. I'm tired of that shit. I I have to have perfect loops so I can spin it around correctly because I'm not I'm not using that that way. I'm not. I hear what I need from that, but I need the timing to be exquisite. Ninja. 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 Click click. There she go. She right there.
So you'll understand when you start time stretching shit and Fruity Loops that you can't just wing it. You can't just do what y'all talking about. It's This is Fruity Loops we're talking about. If I was in Ableton, I'd have a whole different storyline, but this ain't that. What are we saying? What is the saying? This is not that. <laughs> this ain't that. This is definitely not that. And that's okay. I don't need it to be that. I need this to be this. talking about why is that not one one bitch what are we talking about? i was going up 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 and so down 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 what how many bars did they do this two bars i thought i had two bars my two bars are not two bars fuck i can see the goddamn snare it, it is not they're not playing in my they're not in my way out they're not in my way you can see that i'm early this is a perfect two bar loop the problem is this ain't a perfect two bar loop Yeah, it's that, but... That, you know, I need this to... I need I need these timings to be, like... And then I could split them and all that funny shit. You see what I did? Like, I made it so that I could do this without having to think about it, and that almost didn't work. That's the direction I'm headed to, but I ain't even there yet because there's still 80 more parts I need to line up, then chop up, then separate. That's the my thing is I'm trying to get these bitches to play along with the goddamn timeline. That's it, it don't go no further than that. You see what I'm saying? That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get it to be my I'm trying to do my own tempo map.
but then the pitch changed because it's too stretched. What the fuck? It's too fast in the pitch. The pitch is too high. That means it's too fast. So I got to slow it down again. God damn, my friends. Just a little bit then. Pause. Just a, just, just, just a little. You know, you know how that work, right? That's all I'm trying to get to work. It ain't working though. It's something it's doing. It's AI ain't even just doing it on the grid. It's, it's, it's annoying as chopping up a goddamn vinyl record without your goddamn choke groups, Bruce. That's cool. I, I live for this fuck shit. All right. So let me just, let me just get along with it. Y'all make me jump into Ableton, but my problem is I'm working with repitched audio already. Fuck. Oh, man, I don't feel like starting over. I don't feel like starting over from the top, but next, going forward. Going forward, whenever I'm on this Motown time signature bridge bullshit, lining up in Ableton, then repitch before you make the goddamn beat in Fruity Loops. Anyway, but this is this is good enough for me. Hold on. I wish I could just... I wish there was a different, my brain is like, nah, nigga, there's a better way. And I was like, no, there isn't. It's like, yeah, it is. I'm like, mm -mm, I tried it. Nope. Because this one piece right here fucked up my whole day. This one piece right here pissed in my Cheerios when it uh, tone switches. <laughs> Like, why are they two different pictures, right? That's resample mode, right? Make sure this is resample mode too, right? Bitch, double. God damn, nigga. All right, no pitches added. Cool. So. I think I'm just going to have to like sacrifice that that Kanye part of the sample. That's all. I'm just going to sacrifice that part. Trying to sacrifice it. I want to use that as a part two to the beat, but fuck it. It's still pissy. Okay, that's it. That's enough witchcraft for today on that part of that loop. I'm just gonna. This is my intro, bitch. I don't give a fuck. That's all I needed, and uh, I can shorten you up. I think. No, bitch. Not time stretch. Shorten. Shorten just you, my friend. Shorten, my nigga. The fuck you don't understand what, what, what shorten is? The fuck are you doing, you goofy hoe? All right.
I wanted to do more with the sample, of course, but I'm not going to don't, you know, I ain't even got my MIDI control. I'm, fu I'm fucking up. I, I hate spending too much time to get something to technically work. I'd rather just move on to keep the spirit of the creative, the, you know, the, fu the fuse, the fuse is burning. So I don't want to burn the fuse out on that. But if I did it properly, this beat would be more of a, like a, a placement on a record beat. You know what I'm talking about? Not just the underground shit, but like I try to make this shit a record record. So just know that, know that you can do that. I just, I, just knowing that this is here, like changes everything. This changes everything. And by the time you chipmunk it out, impulse response, it put on your SP, whatever the fuck, no one's going to know that it's AI. Them bitches is singing, dog. You hear what I'm saying to you? No one's going to know that shit's AI. Not for real. Not for real. Not for real. Not for real. And this, and this bus, bus down to acapella thing. Come on, AMD NVIDIA. Give me my goddamn local GPU token cruncher because I'm tired of waiting, dog. This is shit that be fucking up all the AI stuff. You got to wait for it. When that shit become instantaneous, as soon as you think it, say it, touch it, type it, fuck. And the only reason why they're doing text prompts is so that it, you could train it to talk. Like the text prompts is just your voice. Soon you'll be able to talk to does talk to create. And that's what, you know, it's all uh, learn is fuck what I'm trying to talk about. I don't want to, I don't want to talk. Niggas can't console me right now. Fuck it. Three, six, five. OTG says you're doing right. Follow the vibes. No brick walls. You got it. Exapil says where the lyrics come from. I made it in the AI program. If y'all trying to figure it out, y'all just want to know where the sample from. Don't be lying to me. Uh, this one. Right here. I think so. I think is this the eternal embrace? Shout to Hot Fries Beats. I see you. All right. So we got the we we got our Drake part of this story. Drake needs some Bluetooth. What what did Drake need? Drake needs some impulse response, right? I could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. I could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside of heck of a man. I'm Oh shit, Drake rapping too fast with the AI separation. Jesus Christ, why can't I live greatly? Lord, I have seen what you have done with others for technology. Drake, you your ass, your damn stem separation fucking up my vibe. Um, what is that shit? Something, 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 something blue, something, something. Blue da boo dee da boo. Oh, we could do Dolby. We need uh we need an impulse. I need a, I need better springs. I need my original springs. Who are you niggas? The original springs. You said bonus folder. Electro harmonics. Do I have that in here? Electro. Electro convulsive. There. None. Me none have that. Jeez Louise, where is it? God damn. All right. Let's uh let's put that down. Metro Bumblebee there. I did not I did not have those. What do you keep saying? You keep telling me that I have those and I never have those. I never have that one. I have something, but I don't have those. Electro harmonics. Electro the electro harmonics. I always looking for that one and I never have that one. Gotta be on the plan, on the plan. We 
You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Please come back in. Alrighty, nice. Right like that. And that's what we have there. Let's try it again. Let's see if we. Let me see if we got it. Let's do this one more time. Yes. Daft Punk me, please. Yes. There you go. There you go. Well, wait a minute. Wasn't there another one? Oh, no, the Holy Grail. All right, shit, bitch. But there's another one. Hold on. What was the other one? What was the old one? It wasn't Dinocord. There's an old one. Aw, oh, man. Does it even matter at this point in life? I thought I had another one. Another one. Can't find it. I thought I had another one. Nah, the first one. I'm talking about Ableton Live days. I'm talking about 12-bit spring reverb. There she go right there. Stupid as hell. I done looked over it a hundred times. But you said Electric Harmonics bonus folder has a better one. Left hall, right flirt. Wait. Oh, that's a lot going on. I can never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your head. Your pussies can't get booked outside of America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? And you won't feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to have this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big different swing, Mike then and right now. What the fuck is this, a 20v1, nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you run, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Hey, let it drop and give me fifty. Drop and give me fifty. Drop and give me fifty. Hey, niggas really got me out here talking like I'm fifty. Hey, niggas really got me out here rapping, but I'm living. I'm gonna tell you, niggas got a cuffin' like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumpin' in, this nigga turnin' fifty. Every song that made it on the chart, he got some jizzy. Spend that little check, you gotta stamp out my business, nigga. Shout out to the hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This for all the top dog. Right. Drop and give me 50. Drop, drop. And that fucking song, y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot now, I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. I could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside of America for now. I'm out in Tokyo. I could never be no number I could never be nobody number one fan. I could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to have this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big different swing. This the right tempo and everything but it's the wrong pocket he on a double time pocket with his is and this is a single time beat fuck I could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside of America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to have this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big different swing, Mike. Then and right now, what the fuck is this? A 20v1 nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you from, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Hey, man, drop it, give me food. Hey, drop it, give me food. Drop it, give me food. Hey, niggas really got me out in a city that you from, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Hey, man, drop it, give me food. 
Drop it, give me sippy. Drop it, give me sippy. Like, niggas really got me out here talking like I'm sippy. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. I might take your latest girl a couple like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in, this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on a chart, he got some jizzy. Spin that little check, you gotta stay about my business. Nigga, shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This for all the top dogs. Drop and give me 50. Drop, drop. And that fucking song, y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot, now I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think, that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga call it top to see top, wanna piece it up. Top, wanna piece it up, top, wanna piece it up. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll beat to this, nah, man. Hey, baby, drop and give me fit, baby, drop and give me fit, baby. Drop and give me fit, baby. Niggas really got me out here talking like I'm fit, man. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. Hey, better drop and give me Throw whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Hey, better drop and give me fit, Drop and give me fit, Drop and give me fit, baby. Niggas really got me. I could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you bitch stepping with a size seven man zone? And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to have this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Oh. Fucking Drake's recording ass. This nigga don't record on no goddamn beats, and you can tell. Yo, his engineers need to get paid extra for putting this nigga on a pocket. Cause Jesus Christ, I wish he rapped a beat. I wish he rapped a beat for her. You can hear his punches on acapella, cause he don't rap the beat. I don't get what that science is. I hate it. Hold on. Stepping with a size seven man zone, and you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just be big, stepping with a size seven man zone, and you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at, I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. now just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike, hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this a 20 v one nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son nigga. Get more love in a city that you from nigga. Metro. Shut your whole ass up and make some drunk. Hey, better drop and give me fit. Drop and give me fit. Niggas really got me out here talking like I'm 50. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. I might take your latest girl a couple like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in. This nigga turning 50. Every song that made. Oh, okay. I got it. All right. I got to rearrange him every time I can. I could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you bitch stepping with a size seven man zone? And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the... Stop. So, Fruity Loops, stop your Fruity Loops on a bullshit too. Stop it. Stop scanning my hard drive when I'm cooking. Oh, oh, and you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight down, so you tight down. Just that. Oh, and, oh, and you gon' feel the aftermath. And you gon' yeah, yeah. And you going you ain't going nothing, nothing, nigga. Rap on beat, nigga. Oh, and, and you gon' feel the aftermath of what I oh, and, and you gon' feel the aftermath. Oh, and you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write on. Oh, and you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. Oh, and you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference swing, Mike then and Mike now. We had to hike down. Big difference swing, Mike then to hike down. Big difference swing, Mike then. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference swing, Mike then and Mike. What the fuck is this a 20 v one? Nigga. What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you from, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drunk business at the man zone. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Been with a size seven man zone. You gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk in zone. They feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight. Now in zone, and feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just 
glad it's talk with your ass. I had to hike down. I seven men's on. Gonna feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass. I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this? A 20 V1, nigga. What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you find, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drum us, nigga. Hey, hey, drop it. Drop it, give me 50. Drop it, give me 50. Hey, niggas really got me out here talking like I'm 50. Hey, niggas really got me out here rapping with our lip, lip. Ass up and make some drums, nigga. Us, nigga. Hey, better drop it, give me 50. Hey, drop it, give me 50. Drop it, give me 50. Us, hey, nigga. Hey, better drop it, give me 50. Hey, your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Us, nigga. Hey, better drop it, give me 50. Hey, drop it, give me 50. God damn it. Drop in gifty 50 fucking fucking shit. Shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. I might take your latest girl a couple like on Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning friend and figure. Every song that made it on a chart, he got some jizzy. Spin that little chick, you gotta stay about my business. Nigga, stood up hooper that be busting out the We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. That little heartbroken Twitter shit, bitches. This far the top, dog. Drop and give me 50. Drop. You might take your latest girl a couple like on Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in, this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on a chart, he got some jizzy. Spin that little chick, you gotta stay about my business. Nigga, shout out to the hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This far the top, dog. Drop and give me 50. Drop, drop. And that fucking song, y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit been brewing in a pot, now I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think, that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga call it top to see if top wanna piece it up. Not start the beef with us. This shit been brewing in a pot, now. Could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all the panned on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? Gonna feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike Dan and Mike. Right now, what the fuck is this? A 20 v one, nigga. What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you from, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. I might take your latest girl a couple like on Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning 50. Every song that me might take your latest girl a couple like on Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on a chart, he got some jizzy. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Might take your latest girl a couple like on Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga. Shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Might take your latest girl a couple like on Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on a chart, he got some jizzy. Spin that little chick, you gotta stay about my business, nigga. Shout out to the hooper that be busting out the grid. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This far the top dog dropping, give me fit drop. Shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Might take your latest girl a couple like on Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning 50. Every might take your latest girl a couple like on Ricky. Can't can't believe nigga might take your latest girl a couple like on Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on a chart, he got from Jizzy. Spin that little check, you gotta stay about my business, nigga. Shout out to the hooper that be busting out the grid. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This far the top dog, drop and give me fit. Drop. I might take your latest girl a couple like on Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on a chart, he got from Jizzy. Spin that little check, you gotta stay about my business, nigga. Shout out to the hooper that be busting out the grid. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This far the top dog, drop and give me fit. Drop. All right, so I got a new problem. Fuck all that extra shit they want me to be on. I'm going to keep this shit simple and short. I don't have all the cool parts that I want, but this is just going to be a minute. It's Instagram story, so 100 niggas can ask me, what program is that anyway? So all I'm going to say is if you're subscribed to my channel, you fucking know already. But um, we're going to bring this shit back. And make sure it's under a minute or so where the rapping is on beat. If I can figure out the, I know this this part right here he blanking, so I might just move it over. Pause. That's what she said.
never be nobody number one fan Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand You pussies can't get booked outside America for now I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on Backstage in my city, it was friend zone You won't ever take no chain off of us How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone Don't feel the aftermath of what I write down Tokyo because I'm big in Japan I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on Backstage in my city, it was friend zone You won't ever take no chain off of us How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven big in Japan I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on Backstage in my city, it was friend zone You won't ever Take no chain off of us. How the fuck you bitch stepping with a size seven man zone? Gonna feel the aftermath of what I write down. Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm a hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you bitch stepping with a size seven man zone? Gonna feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this, a 20v1, nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you from, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. They take it lit, this girl and cuff her like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in, this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on the chart, he got from Pizzy. Spin that little check, you gotta stay about my business, nigga. Shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the kid. We know why you mad, nigga, I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. It's for all the top dogs. Drop and give me 50. Drop. I got it, Viva. And that fucking song, y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in. I got it, Viva. Got a lot of kids to be. Got a lot of haters trying to play me up my energy. Ass up and make some drums, nigga. Might take it late. This girl a couple like I'm Ricky. Can't believe Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Pissy. Number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big. Be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? Gonna feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this, a 20v1, nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you from, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? Gonna feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this, a 20v1? Nigga. What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you from, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga.
I got my fade. <sighs> the fuck? Where is that shit? Stop playing with me. Where's my sounds, nigga? Oh. 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 Ugh. What? Oh, you're not even trying. Nigga. Stop playing with me. Move, nigga. Oh. Nigga, no. Thank you, bitch. Move out the way. Because I'm from in Japan, I'm a hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friends on. Huh. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man's on? Huh. Gonna feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add his pops on. Huh. Gonna feel the aftermath of what I write down. The size seven man's huh. on. Gonna feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add his talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Seven man song. Huh. Gonna feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add his talk with your ass, I had to hike down. He said, just after the talk, I had to hike down. He hit him with the Tory Lanez bar. Remember Tory Lanez hiked down out the chair on Sway in the morning? You calling K-Dot short. That's crazy. I didn't know he was short like that. Shit, I didn't know DMX was short like that. Seven man song. Huh. Gonna feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the you top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add his talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike Dan and Mike huh. Brown. What the fuck is this? A 20 v one nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you find, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, huh. nigga. Seven man song. Huh. Gonna feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add his talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike Dan and Mike huh. Brown. What the fuck is this? A 20 v one nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you find, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, huh. nigga. Seven. Chain off of us, how the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man song? Huh. Gonna feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add his talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike Dan and Mike huh. Brown. What the fuck is this, a 20 v one nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you find, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, huh. nigga. Stepping with a size seven man huh. song. Gonna feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add his talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike Dan and Mike huh. Brown. What the fuck is this? A 20 v one nigga. What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you find, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, huh. nigga.
never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside of America for now. I'm out of Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm a hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? Don't feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to have this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike Dan and Mike now. What the fuck is this, a 20v1, nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you from, nigga. Man, shut your whole ass up and make some drugs, nigga. Stepping with a size seven man song. Gonna feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to have this talk with your ass, I had to. I love in a city that you from, nigga. Man, so shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Fuck you, bitch. Stepping with a size seven man song. Gonna feel the aftermath of what I write down. Fuck you, bitch. Stepping with a size seven man song. Gonna feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to have this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike Dan and Mike now. What the fuck is this? A 20v1, nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you from, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Different swing, Mike Dan and Mike huh. now. What the fuck is this? A 20v1, nigga. What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you from, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, huh. nigga. Between Mike Dan and Mike huh. now. What the fuck is this? A 20v1, nigga. What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you from, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, huh. nigga. In my 
the city, it was friends on. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you bitch stepping with a size seven man's on? Man, I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friends on. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you bitch stepping with a size seven man's on? Man, I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friends on. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you bitch stepping with a size seven man's on? Man, I can never be nobody number 
one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Your pussy can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm a hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? Don't feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference swing, Mike Dan and Mike Brown. What the fuck is this? A 20 V1, nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you find, nigga. Make sure shut your whole ass up and make some drugs, nigga. That's just that's just crazy enough by itself. I ain't gonna hold you. That shit retarded. I ain't even like I don't even bro. Bro, nah. Nah, bro. It's nah, fam. I just I really don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair, honestly. I don't I don't think so. The world might not be ready for that, but I, I was never ready for the world or ready for Michael Jackson or whatever uh, Kanye West was saying. So I don't know, man. I don't I don't know. I don't know that it matters. What is the default percent on this for dudes? Don't play with me, bitch. 75? 80? 70 something? Nigga, what? Ah, you play too much, bitch. Oh, I didn't do that. Oh, how about you just... Oh, you want to redraw the whole fucking thing because you're fucking annoying. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. What, what percent should this be, George? 80. What percent should this be, George? 80. 80. All right. And we want to we wanna make it fade out S-curve style. Fuck them. And then you too, ho. Playing with my mind. Playing with my goddamn mind. Don't you... Don't you touch it. What's good, DJ Shaw? Number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside of America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm a hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? Don't feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference swing, Mike Dan and Mike Brown. What the fuck is this, a 20 v one, nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you find, nigga. Make sure shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Someone said that was a good name for it. What was that called? Uh, four cells that expose. I could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get put outside of America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm a hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? Don't feel the 
tell the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add his talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big different swing, Mike Dan and Mike Brown. What the fuck is this, a 20v1, nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in the city that you from, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Different swing, Mike Dan and Mike Brown. Huh. What the fuck is this? A 20 v one, nigga. What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in the city that you from, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, huh. nigga. <laughs> DJ Shaw said that Rick Ross huh, is funny as hell. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm smoking mids. Hold on. Hold on. Nigga, what I buy all this for? First number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get put outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm a hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friends on. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you big stepping with a size seven hands on? Don't feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add his talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big different swing, Mike Dan and Mike Brown. What the fuck is this, a 20 V1, nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in the city that you from, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Different swing, Mike Dan and Mike huh. Brown. What the fuck is this? A 20 v one, nigga. What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in the city that you from, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, huh. nigga.
one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Your pussies can't get mud outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm a hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you big stepping with a size seven hands on? Feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike Dan and Mike Brown. What the fuck is this? A 20 v 1 nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you run, nigga. Bet you shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think I got it. I think that's it. I think that. I think that's the expo. We we gonna try that one more again. Lord willing, that's. It. I think. I think that. I wanna overwrite. I don't wanna do that. I wanna save it. Shout out everybody in the chat. Shout out to Ao. Shout out to DJ Shaw. Ao Kakondo. Mister Now. Uh, Dion says MG restoring the villain. B Dragon. I said this whole beat makes the diss even harder. I appreciate that. That's what I'm trying to do, man. In Saeed says, time to check it in the AirPods, the phone in the car. When I play the final version, wait for the aliasing and the uh, the bitrate reduction stuff that the plugins are doing live. Wait for that to go away. Wait for me to bounce this out real quick. Just a reminder of what we're doing to get here with AI. Like We made we made this with a prompt in Udio. You know what I'm talking about? Like We made this, the computer is singing to us. From the top, why this is exporting. No God Particle this time. The track loud, link to that sample. Oh, okay. I'll share it. Today, say, 
Ain't that much to save, dog. Alright. Oh, the final version. I'm gonna post this on Twitter and Instagram, the video. I'm gonna play the wave. So the brother can hear it. Like if you're playing this from YouTube in the future or something, you just hear what it sounds like. As best as quality as possible. I do not think I hit zero on the limiter, so it shouldn't. It should be all right. It shouldn't distort extra. Swing Mike Dan and Mike Whoa. down. What the fuck is this? A 20 v one nigga. What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you from, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, Whoa. nigga. I guess that's the show, guys. Shout out to Exapil. Shout out to Dion. Everybody at the end. Beat Jug. 365 OTG. I see you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, cook up and this AI infomercial, I guess. That's all I got for today on this lovely day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you. Like, comment, subscribe, etc. Eat all. Until next time, it's 